Hey, everybody. How's it going? This is the Uncanny Omar from Near Mid Condition, the home of Collected Editions. And I am not alone today, so I'm going to let my panel introduce themselves, starting with my right. Who's that guy? Who are you, guy? Guy. Yes, Lars Pearson, uh, formerly Wizard Magazine, currently of Mad Norwegian Press. And I am uh, juiced for the DC solicits in many regards. Number one, Omar, you and I are both wearing purple shirts. Yes, yes, you, know? you got the memo. We both have excellent fine taste. Uh, yes, I yes, I also have my Legion flight ring. Okay. Yes. Oh, I didn't nerd out like that. Though. Yeah, no, no, no. Not much. In fact, I, in fact, I am also wearing a Legion T-shirt where Legion is on my oh, left breast. I, okay. have, I have I have taken it into my bosom. Okay, that's how. Wow. I and, <laughs> nice. and much like Jess, I also now have a dupe. And Jess and I are dupe brothers. Okay. Wow. And, and Legion brothers. I feel like you yeah. guys could start your own podcast. We basically, yes, uh, we could probably. Yeah. Legion of How did we ever talk to girls? Uh, okay, underneath him is Chris Balga. Chris, who are you, buddy? Yes, I'm Chris Balga. I am part of the Geek Ultimate Alliance Network. Uh, we are a podcast network that covers everything from the wide range of geek and nerdum. Uh, you can find that on all podcatchers of choice by searching for Geek Ultimate Alliance. And I co host Marvel Alliance on that network and host. World's Finest True Believers, which actually just dropped. We dropped our newest episode today looking at uh, Batman and the Outsiders, the very first run of that. Oh, oh the original one. Yeah, the, the original. original. Yep. Classic. And to his right, the guy that has been holding his breath the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> himself. Oh, Jess, it's you. Okay. I did that on purpose. Go ahead. Who are you, guy? Thank you, buddy. Uh, it's uh, me, Omnidog, from Omnidog's Vault, home of really amazing collected editions uh that's my trademark that's your trademark uh, Bald. i'm on instagram i'm on discord actually i'm on my discord right now telling everybody to tune in to very fine condition to watch this show only dogs vault there you go oh, and his youtube james already account. did it <laughs> Dude, james is james. on top of it james on top of james. it nice you Next time I volunteer it. for this, I, I I need to get a memo on the sense of uh, what we're wearing, button downs or not, because <laughs> I am definitely the most underdressed person on this. I wore my dark side shirt, being DC. So yes. yeah, yeah, no, you you came properly dressed. I was <laughs> just like, do I want to change? It's Easter. We just did this thing. You know what? I ain't got time. I'm just gonna go down here and do it, whatever. Because you know Peter's always dressing really nice for these streams, and true. I'm always wearing like a Wolverine shirt. It's fine. You're fine. Yeah. yeah, as a matter of fact, you're overdressed for a DC stream. <laughs> I have Avengers on my shirt. I was, I was gonna say, Jess, you're peppered with Avengers, aren't you? Yeah. I am. <laughs> you're splattered all over me. <laughs> Mr. Tex, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm actually traveling tomorrow, so I need some good sleep, but I got one and a half more videos to edit. Then I can call it. I'm here Where for you. Dupe. Yeah, dupe. Samantha knows what's up. Lars mm -hmm. and I. Yeah. Dude, Lars dude, has dude. the uh oh. On microphone too. The oh, publisher though, Samantha. That is Marvel Comics. Marvel Comics. That's okay though. <laughs> We're doing oh, it. Lars yeah. used an outfit to offset his X theme background. Yes, is which true. is an amazing uh, background. Thank you. I uh, no, I had to go to the comic book store, and I said, I, I know you have dupes here somewhere, and they said, oh, it's on that very tall shelf, and I said, I need your tallest staff member to get them down for me because I'm only five foot seven. So, oh, good, good. Yeah, yeah. We'll, be, we'll be like right there. Yeah. On par with each other. I thought you were—you seemed a lot taller. Oh it's no, the Norwegian. No, I'm not. I'm yes, not I will not, be coming sure Norwegian to visit Jess. He doesn't know it yet, but I'm going to be crashing with him all week next what week. The hell, when is my happen? hotel? I don't need. I was like, why do I need a hotel? I know guy that lives there. Surprise, buddy. We'll do an uh, impromptu live stream. It's fine. I uh, I have room for Melanie and your daughters. I ah, knew that was going to happen. Better lock down that <laughs> vault there, uh, Omni Dog. I'm going to. I Jake already made off with my Excalibur one. That mm -hmm. poor guy. You're never. You're gonna find that one day and feel so guilty. Can't have <laughs> DC start putting out books regularly. I'll be too poor. Yeah, decisions, oh, decisions. This this yeah. this catalog and the previous catalog has been filled with a lot of goodies. And mm -hmm. this one, for me, oh my gosh, just ooh, uh, lot lots of excitement. So, what are you most excited for, Omar? Can you say uh, ahead of time? I, I think, yeah, I think I can say ahead of time. I, I don't think my my opinion has changed. I think it, it's still Superman the Triangle years. But after we look yeah, at the whole catalog, so this is the whole fall catalog. They do this uh, every few months. The last time we looked at this was August of 2023, and it went all the way to July of 2024. And now we're looking at August of 2024 to January of 2025. 
And it's always what I like to remind people is that sometimes they pull things from the catalog. Sometimes they add pages, sometimes they take away pages, sometimes uh, they change prices. So it's in the catalog. Have Some of these have been solicited already. Most have not. So just keep that in mind. If something's like missing and you don't see it in the solicits, it has not been officially solicited and therefore the publisher can take it off. So keep that in mind. But we're going to have some fun because holy crap, mm -hmm. good books. DC's back, baby. But they never really left. They came back kind of the last time strong, but they came back with some books here that I did not see coming. Yes. You feel like they're actually publishing things. It's I wonderful. Well, wait, they, they haven't come out yet. It's a pleasant change. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not do that, Chris. No, no, we, let's not do that. I want it. I want it bad enough. <laughs> oh gosh, I don't. I don't want to go through that. Oh my gosh, I remember making those announcements. Um, now, something I like to keep reminding people is that DC has canceled all these books in the past. Don't get too excited. <laughs> I haven't done that in over a year now. It feels so good. It's great. Yeah, it seems like they're very serious now. Yeah. So what we're looking at is the L device catalog. And this catalog is available. I'll put it in the link in the description for people that are watching later. Uh, anybody can look at it. And they do make it easier. So this is done in the publishing order, the way that this is going to be published. So we're looking at s August 6th with Batman and Robin. Now, I'm not going to spend time on a lot of these because we've talked about most of these already. But there are some new books. And that is Batman and Robin, and that's the Joshua Williamson series. Uh, Batman Hush is getting a compact comics edition. Okay. Do you guys know what these are? I assume we, I know we talked about them on the show, but I didn't know are if you like, all were. You want a Bibles? <laughs> They're like uh, digest well, size books. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's eight and a half by five and a half. So it's. Yeah. Five, so five, you want this enhanced, Miranda? I got you, buddy. Give me Gra one grab second. It, grab it at an airport, have a quick read. Yeah. Yeah, so not really for kids. Whereas, yeah, like, the Marvel Marvel books, I did wonder like, that. But didn't, yeah, they, huh? didn't they do a compact Watchmen? Well, that's what I was saying. Like, these oh. compact books are not for kids. Right. Uh, because one of them is Watchmen. I think, what was the other one? Oh, da, 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 I can't even remember Killing what joke. it is. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Killing Joke. <laughs> Um, it wouldn't surprise me if the Killing Joke makes it here, honestly. As just because, nice. just <laughs> because of how they're marketing these. Yeah. I think, um, I think Curtis said it best. He was like, "Yeah, imagine like these are gonna be like for kids in college, like and you know have a little bit of money." So yeah. that's what these are marketed towards. It's gonna be really interesting, but they're nine dollars and ninety nine cents, and that is, I mean, yeah. DC's hush. Yeah, yeah that is good. so all twelve issues plus that little interlude from Wizard Zero. Pretty interesting. Mm -hmm. Wizard. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, I take their name in vain all the time. It's fine. <laughs> Batman Wayne Family Adventures Volume 5, which I do believe we talked about the last time I did this. And this is collecting episodes 98 to 116. And that is uh, the web series. Mm -hmm. Birds of Prey Volume 1, Mega Ooh. Death. Super excited for this one. Surprisingly, not coming out in a hardcover, but oh. instead a trade paperback. That's that the most surprising thing about bite. this. Yeah, the I'm still going to get it. The art's outstanding yeah. on this series. Oh, yeah. Leonardo Romero, who's doing all the uh, uh, standard edition covers for the Marvel Masterwork. Mighty Marvel Masterwork, sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, amazing. Oh, all right. Well, I'll get it anyway because Kelly Thompson. Oh, yeah. And it's Birds of Prey. I mean, yeah. It's good. Harley. We've talked about this over and over, but, you know. It's in the catalog officially, yep. and this is the classic stuff. So it is separated into the amalgam and classic era of DC versus Marvel. Mm -hmm. Not collected in here is the very first DC Marvel book, and that is The Wizard of Oz. Right. But everything else, I mean, this is a huge book. Yeah. 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 With some amazing legendary creators. Uh, thank you for the super sticker, Elon. Elon says he's not feeling well. That that upsets me. Elon, I hope you feel he's not better. Not feeling well. Uh, uh, I think I saw well, that earlier. I hope you feel better. I hope the hope the catalog makes you feel better. You want me to say <laughs> that like Al Pacino's fake accent in Starface? <laughs> hey, hello to my Just little say, friend. Yes. 
Is that, uh, is that what the young bucks are calling cultural appropriation? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Say hello to my little friend. Uh, that's, that's, that's so forced. Someone's going to definitely get a sound bite. That's screen grab that. Yeah, James, please uh, get Omar canceled. For hey, that. hey, <laughs> hey. Uh, you didn't pay for that. That was Elon. Stop it. <laughs> All right. DC versus Marvel, the amalgam omnibus with a bunch of stuff here with the content. And one thing that I wanted to talk about in the content here, oh my God, DC, damn it, is that this is missing Magneto and the Magnetic Man and JLX. Yeah. So somebody corrected us the last time. I got excited because I saw Magnetic Man featuring Magneto, and I forgot the title was actually Magneto and the Magnetic Man. So JLX and Magneto and the Magnetic Men are still missing. However, just looking at the page count, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe that they, they could still be in there. I guess we will have to wait. Both of these are coming out. I want to say the same day. They want yeah. they just crank these out. August six is the date that we have for both of these. The direct market covers and standard edition covers. The direct market covers, which we don't see here, are done by Jim Lee. Yeah, Magnetic Men being the hit single from the Village People. Obviously, is that what it? Yeah. Can can you pull that from your collection and show us? <laughs> Is that what it means, right? I don't think so. Still no color those pitch dance for variants. Did they uh, did they show the DC versus Marvel one though, Rafael, or just the amalgam one? I've been waiting for that one. And this is really interesting. I feel like DC is just like, yeah. you know what? Screw it. What they're doing is they're yeah. bringing back to print a lot of these Elseworld trade paperbacks. Put it in an omni. Out of nowhere. It's all a favor. It, the, yes. Well, there was like five of them. They're being. Oh, th there's. Yeah. We're going to be looking at the entire catalog. Yeah. They're in here. Yeah. I, uh, I, there's some good stuff in here. I don't know what made them do it or reprint it all at once, but it's good stuff. I'm 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 excited. This is stuff that I've wanted in omnibus format, but I will take. Is this a nope? Not even a DC's finest. It's just a trade paperback. Uh, five hundred and thirty-six pages, thirty-four dollars and ninety-nine cents. That is cheap. Some, some of these, these are hard are to just, find. Yeah. Some yeah. Of some are of these like trades have been out of print for so long. Uh, but you I mean you have in here Batman the Blue, Gray, and the Bat, Robin three thousand. I don't think that ever got into any trade paperback. Uh, the Wild's really interesting. Batman Houdini, The Devil's Workshop, Castle of the Bat, In Darkest Night, and Dark Allegiances, and then Holy Terrors. So, excited for these Elseworlds. They're, they're like what-if comics, by the way, for people that don't know. And again, um, prices may change. It's in the catalog, so that I don't... They've changed prices, so hopefully it'll stay the same. That would be cool. Fire and Ice, welcome to Smallville. Uh, we talked about that one, and we talked about Green Lantern War Journal, Volume 1, Philip Kennedy Johnson writing the story of Jon Stewart. Mm -hmm. And Nightwing. I love the fact that DC is reprinting deluxe editions. Yes. This isn't the only one they're reprinting. That's really cool. Mm -hmm. And $29.99 collecting. <laughs> yeah, who's like, Marvel just didn't see a profit in OHCs, mm -hmm. unfortunately. Mm -hmm. What are Sorry. you upset about? Which one upsets you? <laughs> Marvel not doing OHCs anymore. God, I love that format. Oh, did you? I thought you were an Omni guy. Omni dog? I'm sorry. Are you Omni dog or OHC dog? What are you? Uh, I'm putting in for name change. OHC dog. I like the C dog. I like the name of that. OHC like dog. Let me, uh, let me get to my copyright lawyer and so I can go ahead and copyright that before you get it. <laughs> uh, thank you. I appreciate oh, that. Anyway, every time you use it, you have to pay. And like the... Uh, uh, you can talk to my lawyer about the uncanny part in your name. I think I have to talk to Marvel's lawyer about that or Webster's Dictionary, perhaps, before talking to your lawyer. Uh, Nightwing 101 to 106 is when Chuck Dixon came back to the book along with Scott McDaniel and did this story of how Robin became Nightwing. It's a great, great story. Scott Beatty uh, also helping out with the writing. Wonder Woman Earth 1 is another one of the DC Compact Comics edition. <laughs> Um, <laughs> that's a funny choice too if it well i'm struggling to remember how how should i put this kinky grant was getting in this book. yeah um, and the yeah. artwork was <laughs> I'm so glad somebody mentioned it. It. 
it, it's, artwork it's, was it's, very cheesecakey. Yeah, <laughs> it was good. I know some people have a lot of problems with this book, but I like it. Really, I, I love yeah. this book. Yeah, I can I can see why. But oh, really? I, I, I dug it. I dug, I dug it. it. I thought it was good. Um, I thought it was a really good jumping on point too. Hundred bullets. There I'm excited for this yeah. one. Lot people. Nightwing Year One. Will it be in the compendium? It won't be in the first compendium because this is after Chuck Dixon left the book. This is when he came back during the Devin Grayson era of Nightwing. Yeah. So it will be in Compendium Volume Two if they go that route. Wait, isn't Japan Claw Machine YouTuber called Sea Dog? Dang, I already take. Uh oh, Jeff. Oh wait, Sea Dog. <laughs> oh, wait, see, no. oh, thank you, Dana. Robin 3000 was collected in the Elseworlds Batman 1 in 2016. Thank you for that. Uh, so we talked about 100 Bullets, Brother Lono, uh, coming out in a deluxe edition. Yeah. And this is the content that's not collected in Omnibus Volume 2. So if you kept your OHC dogs, you dogs. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's all I'm going to be able to call them now. Uh, you can put them up the, on your shelf right next to volume five, and that's where this fits in. A we'll, little we'll bit probably, of a spoiler because it happens after the series, yeah. But it's we'll uh, I never know the bizarre circumstances that they basically I think they basically said this was going to be in volume two of the omnibus, and then did. and then they retracted they, that, and then they did. Here, it's like what happened there, but yeah, I think somebody didn't send the right file to the printer i can i don't know i mean i can assume things happen but i don't know the truth honestly yeah. uh batman by paul dini omnibus is one that's coming back to print and i remember when we were talking about it people were like oh this is still in print but what i like to remind people is that yeah. it may still be like you can still purchase it at amazon or in stock trades or uh tales of wonder or organic price books or cheap graphic novels or wherever you get your books but it could be out of print from the distribution level. Yeah. And yeah. that's all DCCs, and they're like, ah, here we go. Yep. Batman World's Finest Volume 3 is coming out in a paperback format. Um, yeah, we talked about these. Batman Detective Comics Volume 2. We got four pages to go through, so I'm just kind of mm -hmm. going a little faster here. Blue Beetle Volume 1. So some of the ones I've talked about were... This is a really weird yeah, 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 decision you... for this one. Uh, but they are reprinting, in case you missed it, the Detective Comics 1000, the deluxe edition. You would it's... think they printed plenty the first time around, but obviously not. Well, yeah, it was part know. of like the series, so I thought, oh, it'll be in an omnibus one day. And it never was. Like, part of it has been in Omnis, yeah. but not the whole thing. But it is co coming back to print, and it's 176 pages for $24.99. Yeah. All right, and Superman Lost. I'm super excited to read this one. Yes, uh, Christopher absolutely. Priest sold me on his pitch of this yeah. book of just wanting to write Superman. Such a, such a it's as zany, but like really just delves deep into Superman's psyche as as a character going through some yeah. interesting trauma. I've been waiting till it's all out. And I'm gonna what the uh, is when does this where does this fit into current Superman Doesn't. stuff? Oh, it doesn't. doesn't. No. Okay. And that's the way he wanted it because okay. he was didn't really want the pressure of writing the monthly series. So he wanted something that he could write that could be read at any time. Yeah. And that's what this is. So I'm excited to read it. And I like uh, okay, Carlo Pacolayan. I like his artwork too. So they teamed him up with a really solid artist. Batman Volume 2, The Batman of Gotham, Chip Zdarsky. This is the trade paperback version. Here's another Elseworlds, this time around focusing on Justice League. Oh, so I like Adam, this book. I'm excited to get that. Because I don't. Um, it's been out of print or else never got it. Yeah, so this collects Elseworlds Finest Supergirl and Batgirl, Justice Riders, Justice uh, League of Justice, Titan, Scissors, Paper, Stone, Wonder Woman, Amazonia, that was the Jill Thompson book, wasn't it? And Elseworlds Finest 1 and 2. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this is another one, but now focusing on Justice League. And Green Lantern, Jeff Johns, book mm -hmm. one, is coming back to print. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and spoil this for you. I think it's like four of the Jeff Johns Green Lantern yeah. books are coming back yeah. to print. As um, pointed out, they're reprinting four of them, and yet there's no volume five. I, I mean, do you feel like well, man, that gives you hope that they will, though? Oh, 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 oh absolutely. But... Man, there is a heavy reliance on reprinting this time around. My, 
my takeaway from this is oh, I'm just wondering why they didn't just rebrand it to a DC's finest. And my takeaway oh. from that was, oh my god, what if they actually thought about the mapping of DC's finest and somebody's job was no, we can't rebrand that because we already have a plan for all of Green Lantern mapping. Hmm. I, I I would love to think that that's you, what happened. That you, would be amazing. You have a lot more faith in their. I was than I do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know, I, wow. I, I am a man of faith. So. I hope you're right. I mean, <laughs> he, he does keep, he does keep on emailing I them. I hope you're so. right. I am skeptical, but I, I hope you're right. It could be wishful thinking on my part, but I would love for that yeah. to have happened. Yeah. And they're like, wait, that's actually volume 35 of our Green Lanterns <laughs> DC's finest. What? Dude, my mind would have been blown. <sighs> uh, So we have Justice League, World's Greatest Superheroes. This is already been solicited i think <laughs> alex ross and paul dini and we talked about that swamp thing by nancy collins is coming back to print yeah. which makes me happy if you haven't read it this is the series that followed up the um alan moore run just don't compare it to alan moore it's actually Never. really solid and she was a or she is a uh a novelist that yes. wrote yeah. this particular story very big into Southern Gothic, and she takes that that style and brings it to the comic. So, and Swamp Thing, and I'm very excited about this one. Uh, hopefully, Volume Two. Just you were in the last stream when we talked about this one, right? You said that um, you you had yeah. the trade paperbacks, and you were. And it turns out that it's all of it's not collected in trade paperback. So correct. This mm -hmm. is yeah. So this will have what I'm missing. And then Titans Beast World, and then we'll have a volume two of that. Hopefully, we'll get the whole run. Uh, Titans Beast World, and then Titans Beast World Tour. Two different books. And Absolute Batman Arkham Asylum. For the people that were hoping this would be reprinted, it sure will be. And it looks like the date is going to be August 27th. Uh, Omar, are you going to email the special address to have them print? I think all of us are going to email the special address. Uh, DC actually has an address that they give everybody out, so more than likely they'll probably listen to that than my email address that I use uh, for my contacts. But I can, yeah, I can. Sh I know we're all rooting for it. Not a, a lot of the creators are rooting for it on Twitter, so it makes me really happy uh, that people want to see that printed. Batman Volume One is coming back to print. The trade paperback, one of my wife's yeah. favorite manga-ish titles death at death stores coming back out yeah power girl this is the story by leah williams eduardo pancica is the artist mm -hmm. on this and this is the new power girl series so this collects issues one through seven yeah, i've not read it so, so far it's been solid really good yeah I, not bad i like some i like some leah williams i do too mm -hmm. and the 12 issues of wildcats matthew rosenberg series Collected in that complete collection, Amazon's Attack. That doesn't okay. This is the new. I assume this is the new Amazon's Attack. Yeah, just based on that cover. Batman City of Madness. This is Christian Ward. I don't think we. This was in the catalog. Yeah, when what we is, took an early look. He did the art on uh, that Fraction Odyssey. It was really good art, but yeah, I, I, I don't think did, I'm familiar with his writing. Invisible Kingdom. Oh, 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 okay, right. I like that. Yeah, I dig his art. Very, okay. very, um, uh, like fantastical, yeah, in, in a way. Kind of reminds me a little bit of like Pasquale Ferry's artwork. Yeah, that's who I was gonna say. Deceased War of the Undead Gods. Mm -hmm. This is another one of the deceased books. Looks like it's trade and this is the I third guess. and final one, right, Chris? Yep, you've, yeah, been, you've is... been reading these, haven't you? Oh, yeah, no, I think Deceased has doesn't even compare in the sense of what Tom Taylor's done. Um, I'm waiting for all this to be one day in an Omni because it needs to be. Well, I have the standard hard covers. I've done my part, Chris. I've, I've done mine. I've even upgraded to the deluxe of the first run. So. <laughs> oh, you done, you did, did me one better. <laughs> this is such an excellent question. Arkham Asylum is the good Morrison or magic mushroom Morrison. Uh, um, I go the latter. I go, he took good magic mushrooms. <laughs> really? I, 
okay, I think part of it was it was a young Morrison writing that yeah. story. Yeah. And yeah. a lot of it is very linear. It's easy to follow. There are a couple of parts where it gets a little psychedelic, but and that makes sense with the foes that he's fighting. My I I always mention this. When you're reading that book, it's a different Batman, though. Batman got yeah. his ass handed to him by security guards. Mm-hmm. Like when you're reading that, you're like, and in other ways too. No. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's not badass at all. And you know, people are used to Batman just being a complete badass, taking out all these villains. And in that particular story, I just remember going, "Wow, he's kind of kind of lame," <laughs> but it's got <laughs> it's got good things about it that I do enjoy. I, um, I think I'm right in saying that in one of Grant's books, they mentioned that you know Arkham Asylum was during that bubble period where the amount of cash you were getting off of comics was so extreme. Grant honestly thought they would just have to write like two comics a year and then take like <laughs> nine months off or something like that. And it's like, yeah, that didn't last. Wow. <laughs> when, when that, that must've been a magic period that lasted six months. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, I mean, no, that bubble period, a lot of people were making a lot of money, but it didn't, it didn't last. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. But it's not for everybody. I will say that. I know I have viewers that don't like it at all. And I have viewers that love it. I think it is one of the best Batman stories. I've had commenters because I didn't put it in my top 10 list of Batman <laughs> stories with the going off on me because how dare I not put it in. in how in dare you have an opinion? I, I, yeah, I don't, how I, don't dare think, you. I don't think it's the best thing ever, but I'm kind of beautiful glad. artwork though. But beautiful I'm kind of, artwork. yeah, I'm kind of glad it exists. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Elseworlds coming back strong. DC said, okay, screw that black label line. We're bringing it back, baby. <laughs> Elseworlds with Superman speeding bullets, cow. Superman Cal, Superman Distant Fires, Nation Divided, and Superman Incorporated. And what's the last one here? War of the Worlds. Roger Stern, Howard Chaikin, J.M. DeMatteis. 368 pages, $34.99. Uh, Flashpoint. I, I love Speeding Bullets. I, that's actually, uh, we covered that on, on World's Finest True Believers. And Tell me about it, out Chris. There. And... Um, I usually tag the creators in in my tweets with it, and at actually uh, JM uh, JM De Mateus actually responded and listened to the episode, and actually that's how I got him on my show. Wow! So, uh, so you you must have said nice things about it. I I did. It's it's definitely it's one of my favorite. Good thing well, you so. did and tagged him on it. <laughs> no, thing. I'm not that I'm not that brazen. <laughs> I, I, I'm, impre- <laughs> I, uh, I'm impressed with people that just want to like crap on people and tag them on it and say, yeah, well, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> you, know what? you, you, you take a shot, right? I think sometimes yeah. friendships start like that. I, I don't mm-hmm. get it, but yeah. Uh, the nail, that would be in a justice league. Yeah. Look, mm-hmm. which I'm sure will come the nail and another nail. Uh, Harley Quinn in the Gotham city sirens is getting a DC compact. Oh, I approve of that. Edition. Sure. Yeah. Great cover. It is. Killian March, right? And collecting the first 13 issues. How many pages? 320 pages? Man, this is a $9.99. And those are good comics, too. I assume it's going to be in color. I mean, there's no way they take away the color, right? Yeah. (laughs) The appeal would would go away very quickly if it was black and white. No, sure. Well, because we've had reprints in the past, you know, from Showcase and uh, what was the Marvel Essentials that were in black and white to make them print. Yeah, cheaper. That, was, that was a long time ago, though. Joker is getting a DC Compact Comics edition. That was the Joker graphic novel by Brian Azzarello and Lee Bermejo. That that wonderful children's book, Joker. Yeah, <laughs> it's not <laughs> great. Kids. We've already been over that. I, I, it's I, a great I, coffee it, table book. Just it, have it out there for yeah. everyone to see. And a conversation yeah. starter. It is a harrowing night of revenge, murder, and manic crime. Good, <laughs> good. And why you should never be Joker's friend. Give it, give it to the nephew. Yeah. Uh, Joker Killer Smile. One of you said you didn't dig it. Was that you, Jess? Yeah. Didn't like it. No, um, it was. I... And you're you're a Lemire guy. Oh yeah, yeah. I was disappointed in this one. I hmm. could it could be a me problem, but um, it's me that's buying them. So <laughs> I I said uh, second Charles, you can have this. Uh, otherwise, I no, love everything. The artist, go ahead, um, Chris. What'd you say? Oh, I didn't say anything. Nope. I was just more he agreed with me. <laughs> he agreed with you. No, okay. I did not agree with you. I haven't read it. So <laughs> that doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't matter. Uh, what 
yeah, the one I'm still looking forward to with that Jerry Ordway cover, uh, DC Superman, the triangle years. They have not changed the content. Oh boy, oh boy. They have not changed the price, and the page count is still 1,384 pages. Knocking on wood. Knocking on wood. People are wondering why you didn't like, without spoiling it, what, what, what was it that didn't click with you, buddy? Um, I would, to be honest, it, Joker has been used so much. Um, and it's not that I was suffering. I am suffering from Joker fatigue, but I feel like if you're going to do a Joker story at this point, it needs to be something, a really, really fresh take that you haven't seen before. And I just felt like it was sort of, I didn't feel like it was special at all. It just did not feel, it didn't, it didn't feel like it took Joker in a new direction. He didn't, uh, progress as a character i i don't i don't know it just i didn't feel like it was um it, it wasn't uh, you know what i'm trying to say don't you <laughs> it um, wasn't it wasn't it didn't you, hold you my wanted interest. something if you're if you're gonna read a joker story you want it to stand out and be bold and be new something unique is that Take what you want in a different direction yeah something i haven't seen before and you I felt like the was... damaged tattoo on his forehead. <laughs> no, <laughs> I've seen that and I didn't like it. Do you, uh, uh, did you like Lemire's other horror books? Like uh, yes. the, the one actually that he did with Sorrentino, right? The Gideon Falls. Were you a fan of that? Uh, yeah. I, and I've, I've given the, um, I thought uh, Lemire's swamp thing. Green hell was really good. I really liked that one. Um, and in his new horror series that's going to take a long time to collect. I've I've read the first couple of those and I enjoyed those. Is that Sorrentino as well? Yeah. Um, yeah somebody some, in the chat was mentioning the AI art on Sorrentino and Oh, yeah, I don't know. Enough to, that's a, that's a topic. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know enough to comment on It'll that. It'll be interesting to see what DC concludes about that one. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, it's it, I, look, I, all I can say about that is I'm not an artist. I don't know about deadlines and things like that, how long it takes somebody wow. to draw something. I, I, you know, I remember when people were wanting my comment on uh, when Joel Jones got accused of copying and pasting or pretty much tracing somebody else's, swiping somebody else's art. Hmm. And artists have deadlines, and I, I don't know. I, I, I have, like... Right? very hard to, to judge somebody when I don't have their type of work, right? Like their line of work. And mm -hmm. there's plenty of artists that I'm sure have used it. And I don't know if, if DC is okay with it. If that's the opening the wow. door of other artists to come back and say, well, cool. Unless there's, unless it's in the contract. Has he there is a commented contract, on it himself? Oh, I don't know. I just, yeah. I, I haven't even kept up. All I know is the nipple. There's like a third nipple, I think. Is be, yeah. I swear that's all I know about I, it. Yeah, I would I, be surprised if DC was okay. If if AR's, AI is being used to the extent that they think it is, I'd be very surprised if uh, DC was okay with that and we're too. Alive. I'd like to know his side, uh, what he has to say. Actually, before I comment on anything, I'd like to know what he has to say about it. Mm. Yeah. Um, Superman Triangle Years, they were asking. It is September 3rd, but I can't, again, this is the catalog. Things could change. Knock on wood, no changes. I've never seen Jerry Ordway referred by his full name, Jeremiah oh, Ordway. Oh, yeah. How, how interesting. Good point there, Edwin. Good catch. He's proud of this book. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As he should. He, well, he redrew that cover. Or he, I'm sorry, he cleaned it up yeah. for this omnibus. For free. Yeah. All right. Batman Year One box set. This is coming out in a trade paperback format, but all three books in a box set. Or you can get the 20th edition, 20th anniversary Robin, or I'm sorry, Nightwing year one. Satana and the Re Jess, you would be the only one here that has been probably <laughs> reading this stuff, right? I haven't started, but it's uh, so Geo says it's really good, and he and I both like Zatanna. Uh, when is this coming out? This, this is, is coming four. out September 3rd. Okay. You're, you're, you're behind, my friend. I am. I will have the first three volumes uh, read way before that. I will put that on my list for this week. When upper management goes out of town for 16 days, I'm reading this book. Yes, 
I'm her. coming in. I'm going to disrupt her reading. I'm coming <laughs> in and we're going to hang out. You're going to read nothing but X-Men when I come over. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Actually, that's part of my I'm starting Reign of X. Oh, no, no. We're going to start with some classics like She Lies with Angels or X-Men the Draco or Peter <laughs> Milligan's X-Men. Oh, <laughs> Omar, you're wearing a suit. Did you just make an announcement video? I, I no. I did good catch though. Uh, it was it was Easter Easter celebration, uh, but I did have to tweak something on a video that they asked me to change. There was another cover change, which hopefully will get approved and uh, be out sometime this week. It's nothing new. It's just updated stuff. All Star Batman by Scott Snyder. We knew about this one, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You talked about this one before. Deluxe edition. This was good. Yes, I think we did mm -hmm. because. It does sit, yeah, because I made the joke that it's not All Star Batman and Robin by Jim Lee and Frank Miller. I remember and, yeah, we're not we're not making Robin eat rats. <laughs> that poor Killing a kid. yellow Green Lantern. Uh, Batman sixty six is coming out to print mm -hmm. again. In case you missed it, I think Jess sold everybody on it the yeah. last time. Uh, I, really did I, I didn't pick it up the last time, so I'm definitely going to get it this time. So this is Batman sixty six. Uh, Mike Mike Alred and Jeff Parker, two phenomenal creators, yeah. and Laura Alred, nine hundred and twenty-eight pages, one hundred and twenty-five dollars. <laughs> Batman Volume Three is uh, coming out in a hardcover and a trade paperback, mm -hmm. so you can decide. You save five bucks on the trade, and same page count and everything. Who? What? What company was it? Somebody, one of my viewers was asking me, I think, a couple weeks ago. It was a company that's coming out with a trade paperback or hardcover. The hardcover has all the goodies, the extras, but there's like a 70 or no, a $50 price increase. It's one of the newer companies, like either Distillery or the other one that's out. Um, and they're coming out with collections, like collected edition collections. Hmm. And I was like, holy crap, that's a big difference. <laughs> like five bucks. Yeah, not bad. Hmm. Hmm. 50 bucks. Woo. Yeah, Batman really Dylan like Dog. I do not know anything about Dylan Dog. Uh, I know a lot of my viewers really mm. enjoyed D Dylan Dog. This is—I mm. didn't know they had gotten together this many times for 584 pages. Oh, whoa! Thirty-nine dollars and ninety-nine cents. Have you ever read Dylan Dog, uh, Omar? I have. Hold on one second. Anyone know why D DC has done direct? Wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry. Maybe I'm misreading your questions why they have um that i don't know I, I, i'm sorry i thought you were asking uh if dc had done any variant covers or dm covers uh for trade paperbacks uh so i don't know why they did maybe they'd sell maybe they wanted something for just uh comic book stores to have hmm. yeah. i've only read the uh the dark horse stuff the dylan dog uh dark horse stuff uh, that was brought over here because it, it was a series that was translated i had no idea that they had, him and batman hung out that much um, i will be right back i'm gonna read it yeah the story and i'll be uh right back read him uh killing joke digest size. Oh, actually i was gonna God. go for just the joker like the digest size that's coming out i've got an advanced copy so it'll be a page turn <laughs> and and watchman and 300 yeah yeah why not <laughs> yeah, and, and read well, in front of them. Yeah. Go, Chris. Go, Chris. Come back, please. <laughs> Still Rage. Superman has been a big success in sales. Woo! Really? Yeah. That's interesting, Danny. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I, I hope, I hope that's right. That. I hope that's right. I'd like to see the data on that, but yeah. Yes. Uh, Batman. Do you want to see the data? You're such a wizard guy. Batman, Superman. I, excuse me. I'm, I'm a journalist. I'm governed by facts. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay. Okay. Throwing that journalist card down sharply. Um, I know. The facts. <laughs> World's Finest Volume 4, Return to Kingdom Come, both that, in trade and in hardcover. Both in trade and hardcover, okay. Uh, and if you missed out on this phenomenal series, by the way, if you slept on it when it came out, there were hardcovers of this, there were trade yeah. paperbacks. This was such an amazing series. Was, this is uh, Brave and the Bold when yeah. it was relaunched by Mark Wade and George Perez. Yep. And it was one ongoing story. Oh, it's so good. Yeah. I'm so I glad missed it. The print. I have the hardcovers. Um, yeah, and it was just George Perez thinking, well, I should just do a kind of great DC book again instead of a big event thingy. Um, hmm. And he and Mark knocked it out of the park. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Oh, it was solid, man. Yeah. Nightwing, which we know is coming to an end. Uh, Titan of the Titans. And this is volume five. 
coming out in a trade paperback and in hardcover 101 to 105. This I have those been- Wade Perez Brave and the Bold singles. Love yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Absolutely. it has been a number one at IST and top 10 on Amazon for weeks, for okay. days. It's sold more than Watchmen. Okay. Well, look at that. Danny's got your data for you, man. Okay. Thank <laughs> you for that. Danny. Even print. Um, the Tom Taylor Nightwing has been really good. I read it on DC Infinite, and yeah, yeah. Oh, did you finally get it? Uh, yeah, yeah. it it's is good. good, really good. It's got Bitewing, best character. Yeah. Yes, I sold my brother on the book with Bitewing. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great two selling point. Action Comics Volume Two to Hell and Back. Philip Kennedy Johnson continuing his run on Superman, the Joker. So this one wasn't in the catalog last time. Mm. But it, now we see it as the Joker because Jess can't get enough of the Joker <laughs> by James Tiny Onion. I heard oh. that this is more of a Jim Gordon story, which is why I picked it up. I haven't read it yet, but it's apparently, re- of course, Tiny Onion, so it's really good. Hmm. Um, more a Jim Gordon story. So uh, tell me something, Jess. Okay. Are these really, really big books? Because it, it's a compendium and it's 488 pages, but it's 15 issues and then the annual and Joker Warzone 1 and Batman 100. I just have three standard hardcovers. So I, is there, I don't know that there's, a, okay. I'm just curious. It's $59.99, which is the price that they uh, charge for compendium. 488 pages. Uh, 488 pages but again that could be wrong yeah are you are you asking is it big enough for it to be a compendium well i was wondering what all the pages had um in there so no worries no worries it's all good uh wesley dodds the same man which reminds me that we still don't have a mystery theater volume two oh. yet but this is the new series uh, this is a good qu- this is a question for you lars hmm. lars i'm not a fan of taylor in general Will his Nightwing do anything different to sway me? Um, oh, what a good question. Um, I found it to be a very engaging take on Nightwing. I mean, I, I you know, um, I don't, well, I don't normally read Nightwing. And I read it and I greatly enjoyed it. However, I'm not going to buy a print copy. I don't know if that's an endorsement or not. I, I did take the time to re- thoroughly reread it, read it on uh, DC Infinite. I probably wouldn't invest in a print copy. Um... It is good stuff. It is good stuff. I mean, I think Taylor really finds a way of making the relationship between Nightwing and uh, Barbara Gordon work really well. So yeah, I don't know, Jess. What do you? Why do you like it? I I agree with everything you said about making it engaging yeah. with Bar- uh, Barbara, and it's a. I, I feel like it's a compelling story with a uh, a fairly evil uh, villain in the in the first yeah. few books. That yeah, the villain is that, good. Yeah, that I I found really interesting. Um, yeah, and I, and I like the dynamic between uh Barbara Gordon and Nightwing, and I you can't over uh state how fun it is. Um, not only it, it's just fun, and kind of, even though the villain is super creepy, there are light moments in there, and yeah. I say bite wing because uh, it, it just kind of adds an it can't all be super dramatic. And I like having Bitewing in there, the dog that he takes in and uh, as, you know, as a foster dog. And it, it's just a sweet touch in there. Yeah, It, it sort of humanizes him and makes him uh, more re- uh, relatable or, or somebody you want to root for. Nightwing had gotten a little bit stuck in a rut in that, you know, it's like, oh, blockbuster again. Um, mm. But the villain was good. The character dynamics were good. It's in the wake. This doesn't really spoil anything. It's in the wake of Alfred's death in Batman. Oh, right. That's right. And, it and, out. That, and that does sort of send it hurtling in a new direction. Um, there's other things I won't spoil. Um, like the first year, there actually were a fair amount of twists. And like, what's going on with this character? Oh, you know, you've got me now. Um, I think I benefited from reading it all at once rather than just month to month. Mm-hmm. But yeah, no, give it a try. Give it a try. Yeah, that's right. That's a good point about Alfred because that it starts off in a very touching way. The whole yeah. series starts off very in a very touching way. Yeah. Uh, uh, um, sorry, Doug. Yeah. So I um, 
what I can add is Nightwing is my favorite character at DC Comics. Um, and this run is up there with Chuck Dixon's run on oh, Nightwing. Yeah. Oh, certainly. Which was completely, you know, what put Nightwing on the map for a lot, a lot of people. Yeah. And the artwork by Bruno, uh, Bruno Redondo is stellar. And he's mm. doing experimental things like the point of view issue yeah. or the... Oh my God! The, the issue where it's just one continuous panel of just following Nightwing yeah. through the issue yeah. is amazing. I yeah. don't know how it's like. I don't know how it was digitally for you, uh, Lars. But seeing it in like yeah. a, in a collection, it was really cool to follow the character through the entire issue. So yeah, the, yeah, yeah okay. the, the art, you're right. The artwork is outstanding, and um, there is a little bit of a retcon, but we are talking about the d new dawn of DC Rebirth yeah. era. So characters are back that were dead, and there's yeah. a character that's added that you're like, all right, whatever, let's just go with it. <laughs> there's certain sure. things about this I don't want to spoil. Um, I, I'll just say, as good as the Dixon run is, you do feel like it's really, really good meat and potatoes. Um, I feel like this is this has more ambition than that. I feel like this is actually trying to push the envelope some with Nightwing as much as they can get away with. So, yeah. Yeah, I, the the Dixon run is still my favorite run of sure, all that's time. That's what uh, Omar reorganized my uh, Nightwing by Dixon when he was here. <laughs> he had multiple copies of the same book. Oh, they were just oh. named differently. It was a mess. Did you get a Nightwing by Dixon omnibus or Taylor omnibus first? Ooh, what a good question. Well, uh, I hope they do. You're getting I, a compendium of Nightwing yeah, by Dixon. Dixon. I, I, if they did a, if they did a Tom Taylor Nightwing omnibus, I might actually buy it, and I don't normally buy him Nightwing, so. Uh, I think we'll get an omnibus of Taylor's run too, yeah. but I hope we get one of um, uh, Dixon's because I love that art by Scott McDaniel. Master yeah. Race coming back to print, which we talked about yeah. uh, mm -hmm. with uh, Dark Knight coming back to print late last year. Batman by Grant Morrison book one. So it is getting a trade paperback. I think this has been previously. No, it hasn't. This is something new. Yes, this is a, this is a new. Matter. So no DC's um, finest on that one and the, the grant morrison batman must still sell for all that a lot of people yeah you're right it. like jeff john's green lantern is probably it why must, they do it, it must still sell yeah batman incorporated the complete series and this is collecting issues one through 12 from the 2022 series by ed brisen and john timms uh batman detective comics volume three gotham nocturne act two which we talked yeah. about both in trade and in hardcover oh. Okay. Uh, we did we did talk about that one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then Elseworlds Justice League yeah. Volume okay. Two. So it's got Batman Elseratu, including Elseworlds. including the eighty page giant that uh, was initially pulped um, because it had that story with Super Baby chewing electrical cables and stuff like that. Oh, that's right. Yeah. And, we, and they didn't. And they and they didn't. I, I, as I wizard at the time, and like a, a few copies leaked out, and then they pulp to the run and so like if you had one of those few copies they were going for pretty good money and then they finally decided to reprint it in a collection it's like apparently you know children don't read collections and then chew electrical cables so <laughs> and wonder woman the blue amazon um green lantern speaking of uh, jeff johns and green lantern books book two is coming back to print uh green let's see if they added content to this one so nope Still skipping the uh, issues 48 through 58, which is the Tony Bedard stuff. Hmm. Um, okay. Is it necessary? Not really, but from a completist standpoint, yeah, it would have been nice to have it all there. Hmm. So I didn't have to keep that over or that hardcover. It wasn't even oversized. Uh, but does this include the. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this is it. Run? Okay. This is the rest of Peter Tomasi's run 39 through 47, 59 through 60. The New 52 era, 0 through 20, when he went over to Emerald Warriors, and all 13 issues are here. And then Blackest Night, number 8, Green Lantern, 65 and through 67. And then New 52, Green Lantern, 17 through 20, and Green Lantern Corps, AO number 1, plus the Green Lantern 80th anniversary. Jew Page? Jew? Gu, ho, what is that? J-O-O -O Page. What does that stand for? Super Spectacular. Joe, Joe, Joe. Anyway, uh, Jay Garrick, The Flash. So it doesn't look like they added those issues, but, you know, we'll see. Uh, Jay Garrick, The Flash, 
this is a new series? Yeah, of collecting yeah. Jay Garrick the Flash. He's, one uh, yeah, he's gained a daughter recently, and it's been quite touching. Yeah. yeah. He got, um, yeah, that was in the Stargirl mini, but I've enjoyed yeah. the Jay Garrick run. Um, that Stargirl mini was actually really good. It re- yeah, I was quite surprised too. But yeah. yeah, this is this picks up where that leaves off, and it's it's been a really good series. Mm. Chris is back. Oh, right. I'm back. So I'm yeah. back. They, they, cho- they chose a, uh, I, they wanted trouble, but I, but I insisted <laughs> on, um, honey, bunny, funny, honey, bunny, funny, bunny, you know, Easter <laughs> These are I, I do, I do, uh, miss reading to my kids because I would do voices for them. <laughs> trouble. <laughs> my son did get the that. very first, his very first mighty Marvel masterworks today for Easter. So nice. Oh, that's awesome. Mm-hmm. That's great. My daughters knew. I always uh, brag about how my daughters knew their tiny titans before they knew their ABCs and one two threes. <laughs> <laughs> and they knew the difference between Donna Troy and uh, Cassie. That um, is definitely something to be proud of. I was very proud of them. Yes. It's like you may not make it far in school, but you're going to go far in this house. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Glenn, sir, thank you for the super chat, brother. Do any of y'all sell omnibuses when the value spikes? Um, um I, I, no, I don't. Mm. I don't. I give away yeah. a lot of books. Since, but... since, since I'm a former price guide manager, everybody thinks that I'm a brazen hussy when it comes to uh, price spikes. <laughs> no one will tell you that to you, directly to your face. Uh, occasionally, they have to <laughs> to my face. Brazen um, hussy. I'm writing that one down. Yeah, but um, but I. You know, I only, I really only buy omnibuses that I want to keep. So if the price spikes, I'm like, well, I'm not selling my Legion five years uh, later. Number one omnibus, no matter how much it goes up. <laughs> yeah, same. Mm-hmm. It's pricey too. Mm-hmm. I think my last. Uh, omnibus what about I you, Chris? Sold. Have you? I'm sorry. You... I only, I only picked that terminology for historical accuracy because that is actually <laughs> my face. The mm-hmm. the uh, last omni I sold that was out of print was uh, War of the Realms, um, and. I think I maybe sold it for like 20 bucks above cover. And that was it. Mm-hmm. So I didn't even try to, wasn't trying to make a profit off of it. So, um, so, but there are people that do. It's just also, it's not something I advise is buying a bunch of Omnis and sitting on them mm-hmm. uh, for the value to go up. Because first no. of all, my goodness, you need a lot of space. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, who knows when they'll be reprinted, right? I mean, yeah. we've learned that a lot of these books if, if, come yeah, back to reprint, print. If it reprints, it kills the back market value instantly. The, 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 the bigger challenge for me is to whether to, you know, that occasional out of print one that you don't have, whether you splash out like 200 bucks or 250 yeah. bucks or whatever it is to go ahead and grab it, which I did finally show up for a Quantum and Woody Omnibus just because I'm like, Valiant will never reprint this thing. Um, oh, Lars, you big dummy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here's where he announced as an announcement. Brazen hussy, gosh <laughs> damn! I know. Uh, Alan Grant, Green Lantern, collecting Alan Grant, Green Lantern one through six. Tim Sheridan. Um, that's not a new printing. I thought that had already come out. No. Uh, uh, speaking still, of new printing, this is one that I did not get, and people ask me if I could do an overview of it because I have no interest in this. But apparently it's got some really good stories and I never read it. Uh, this is Batman Arkham Asylum coming back to print. I at one time regarded as the biggest omnibus with 1,648 pages, $150. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's a hefty it's huge. one. Um, and this is what it collects. Hmm. Arkham Asylum, The Road to Arkham, Arkham City, Arkham City, The uh, Endgame, Arkham Knight 1 through 12, Batman Arkham Knight Annual 1, Batman Arkham Knight Batgirl and Harley Quinn, Batman Arkham Knight Genesis 1 through 6, Arkham Knight Robin, Special Number 1, Arkham Origins, and Arkham Unhinged. Has anybody read this in the comments or that's watching this right now? Let me know because I I have been asked and I never know what to tell people because you – well, I mean, look at this. You got Peter Tomasi and Tim Seeley. So it's got some talent in there, and I'm sure there's some really good stories. I was I was wondering if it's taking place in the Arkham universe, you know, the video game universe, mm-hmm. or if it's going to take place in the, uh, like, if they're standalone stories that don't really connect. I thought it was in the video game universe. It is. It's it's okay. in the video game universe. Okay. I mean, it's it's like with any of these kind of you know injustice. Outside of injustice, this is has a lot of hit or miss, and in 
my opinion, take it for what it works. This is this is one I I happily passed on. It will be passing on again. It just doesn't. Why did you opinion, pass on it, Chris? I passed on it because as the as each each kind of mini came out, it kept on having diminishing returns. In my opinion, I okay. love the video game series personally. I I you know even even Arkham Knight, I still find value in it. But there was something very cool. You get Kevin Conroy playing, you know, having the voice of Batman mm -hmm. at that point. I mean, it's a it's a great video game series, but. This one, it starts off strong, in my opinion, but it continues just to just dip, dip each time. So, what's the biggest Omni? Arkham, Justice League, Dark, Blackest Night. The biggest Omni is Avengers versus X Men, sixteen hundred and eighty pages. Marvel said, "Here, hold my beer." He said, "The good, a uh, good Omni." <laughs> oh, I thought he said a good Omni. <laughs> uh, yeah. did, wow. Okay, uh, a good Omni. <laughs> Shut up, Jess. <laughs> you know I don't like that book anyway. <laughs> but, and, and and I think the tough part is when you're tied to when the creators are tied to kind of where they don't they they're in a little sandbox. It can only go so far with it, because especially if they're yes, that would be a, that game. would be a problem. I mean, an omnibus based on a video game might not be the time to just you know push the envelope considerably. Uh, Green Arrow Volume Two. Continuing the Joshua Williamson series, don't states doesn't state what it collects here, but it is picking up from volume one. And here you go, Jess. Tell me about this book. <laughs> oh, Sweeney Boo, is she right? You know, she's drawing it. I like her. I got to talk to her. I uh, I haven't read it yet. I've been waiting for it to be collected. Oh, you're waiting for it to be collected. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so this lucky is, day. <laughs> this is still in se September. We're still in. Uh, this is coming out in September 24th. Well, okay. that's what it says, but we'll yeah, see. I have I have liked some Teeny Howard more than other Teeny Howard, so I'm hoping this is really good. Uh, I'm going to get it either way, so it doesn't matter. Okay, Volume One and Legion of Superheroes, Lars. Ooh, ha, ha, there we okay. go. Finally. Um, yeah. Now, what's the contents here? Because um, I would. Well, it, I assume it's going to be what the deluxe. Though, well, okay. let me see. I, I, I'm wondering if this is just the slimmed down dark, great darkness saga and nothing else because it's only twenty bucks. And oh, well, it's only pages. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay, with 192 pages, yeah. I'm betting it has the same content as the deluxe edition. The you, deluxe edition. I bet, I bet you it doesn't because the deluxe edition had a lot more. The deluxe edition started um, about six issues before the Great Darkness Saga. Um, so yeah, what's it? Well, maybe you're right. I don't know. Seems awful. Uh, my wife has been telling me I'm wrong a lot today, so I probably <laughs> I tend to believe you. Uh, I'd have no, to, I, I'd have, no. You, I think you're right. I think this is probably going to have the contents of the omnibus of the new omnibus, the Fourth World Omnibus Volume Two. Yeah. Just either I, I, on either the Great way, Darkness it, saga. as much as I love Legion, and as much as Jess loves Legion, you know this this is almost undeniably the best known. Best regarded mm -hmm. Legion of Deluxe Superheroes had 415 story. pages. Thank you so much. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay the Great there you Darkness go. Saga is in the Fourth World Omnibus, correct? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Um, yeah but this, but this, not this, not as much as uh, Lars has stated. As much as the Deluxe Edition. Right. Right. Th this is this is the very best known Legion of Superheroes story ever. It's been out of print for years. Yeah. Shockingly. Um. But yeah. Good to have it back. Poison Ivy, Volume 3, coming out both in hardcover and in trade paperback. I love uh, this series. Issues 13 through 18. Yeah, this was really, really good. I really enjoy it. And Marcio Takara's art is amazing. Mm. Mm -hmm. The Joker, The Man Who Stopped Laughing, the complete series. So this is the Matthew Rosenberg series. Uh, Omni yeah. Dog, The Man Who Stopped Reading. <laughs> Wow. So not for and you. <laughs> not for you. Um, anybody read this? I stopped after um, Tinian's first attempt at uh, the Joker. That first series, I I'd got my fill. You got your fill of the Joker. Mm -hmm. We three another oh, wow. anniversary. I'm excited. Deluxe edition. This book yeah. is absolutely beautiful. I get that. Uh, if you can't stomach the thought of animals being hurt, though, oh, there is that. Probably not yeah. for you. Uh, not for it you, is 
<laughs> More Joker. Wide <laughs> left. Man. Bart was right. Please don't start that movement. <laughs> um, please, for the love of God and everything that's holy, don't start that. <laughs> we three, the 20th anniversary edition. I absolutely love this book. This is actually the book that made me think, you know what? This Frank Quietly guy, yeah, he's okay. I still don't think he draws pretty women, but he's okay. <laughs> I, I don't like any thing to happen to animals at all but i actually love this book um okay i i will say that i feel feel like it it could have been worse um what happens without oh, yeah, giving, yeah. Well, without giving it away i i feel like it it's uh hmm i don't how do i not give it away uh <laughs> well, and you know, clearly Morrison's point is that animals yes. could be as bad. All animals yeah, could have right. died, is what yeah. you're trying yeah. to say. Yeah. All animals could have died, Jess. I yeah. Can yeah. 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 I thought it was well constructed and very touching and moving. And and as a Pride of Baghdad is one that as brilliantly as it was written, I just can't. Oh my God. That one will rip that your heart out. Me. Yeah. That, on that, and that watch book you breaks just me every time cry. I read it. I, yeah. I'm not sure I can read that one again. Quietly, but pretty women peaked with Cassandra. <laughs> hey, that's you know good. What, man? That's that's if, that's if, great. If you're into that, I ain't gonna shame you. That, that's all right. He draws a great bald woman. What could I say? Look at that, Lars. Look what movement you started. Oh, Lars. Daria died. <laughs> Quietly, not drawing pretty women is the understatement of the year. I like but that. In terms of animal, in terms of animal cruelty, you compare this with the Bloom County collection, Night of the Mary Kay Commandos. Oh yeah, have to escape from a Mary Kay facility. Yeah. <laughs> that was okay. pretty. Yeah, that was pretty ballsy. That was strange. I remember the line: "Even their Uzis are pink." Um, <laughs> DC is just firing on all cylinders. They're like, "We got omnis, we got thick trays, we got fat, like we got skinny trays, we got hardcover standard size hardcovers, the lugs edition compendiums, and we're gonna do this DC's finest." Hmm. And 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 they're also having thickies like this: three hundred and fifty-two pages mm -hmm. for vamp American Vampire Book One, mm -hmm. thirty-nine ninety-nine, which we talked about. I think Jake was the one that hadn't read it yet. I'm a big fan of it. I like yeah. it. And again, there's a compact version. Wow. And, I was, oh, and, and I forgot. And we wow. also got a digest size book. Wow. Now that, Everybody. That, that, is, that is a bedtime story. That is a bedtime <laughs> yeah. story. I can <laughs> recall some of those scenes. Oh, yes. Wow. <laughs> 999. Yeah. But look at the page count. 320. My gosh. Yeah. I am Get your um, this, this is pretty great. I think like a lot of Scott Snyder's. Hey, Richard? It goes off the boil toward the end, but it has a very uh, successful long run. Yeah. And I started liking Frank Quitely's when reading his two uh, part story, Blackheart and Dark Horse Presents. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, Frank Quitely's Emma Frost still gives me nightmares. <laughs> I, I agree. I agree. I agree, my friend. But you know what, though? There are people that love, 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 love his art. So I do. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Jess is into that. I'm into Frank Quietly's art. Yep. No, this is good to see. Now, this is a compendium. Yeah. Yep. Um, this is Grant Morrison and Chess Trout's compendium. So giving giving credit to both of them. They I like seeing this, that. They should maybe this is an absolute edition. That would be pretty good. Oh, uh, to to again uh re remind people that these are di the compact books yeah. the ones that say compact they're yeah. digest size books so yeah. look at the sizes the trim size mm -hmm. yeah so they're like they're the size of a tonkabon manga they're for That's ages 10 and under yeah no do mm -hmm. not nope <laughs> they're these idiots thoughts and feelings and, and words do not represent your make condition except for Chris up there. he's fine <laughs> With this dumbass crap sandwich that me and Chris have built <laughs> <laughs> I love you both. Uh, Batman Justice Buster. Oh, Justice Butler. Like... Oh, okay, that's another. No, alphabet. no, no, no more talk. It's manga. This is a manga. Yeah. That is right. Mm. 192 pages, nine dollars and ninety nine cents. It is a volume four. It's the same. Um, Superman loves Meshi. Right. That. Yep. Mm -hmm. I'm with Jess. I also love Frank Quietly's art. Well, there you go. You Larry. should do an episode on why Frank Quietly draws the hottest ladies. Right on, man. Rob Liefeld is better Nova than Frank number Quietly. One. Right there. There's actually, Warren Weaver's ridiculous I think, I think, opinion. I don't know, man. I'm kind of with Warren on this one. Oh, no, on. well, aspects of it. 
Uh, DC Compact, another one is Catwoman, Trail of the Catwoman. Beautiful Darwin Cook artwork in yeah. this one. Mm-hmm. And you have Selena's big score, Catwoman 1 through 9, and backup stories from Detective 759 to 762. 336 pages, $9.99. That's it. Thank you so much. Superman versus Meshi. No. Uh, that Superman versus Meshi and Joker upper, one operation Joker <laughs> are awful books. I have not read them, but I know my buddy Wonder Maddie loves Superman versus Meshi and she wants to do an old reader, new reader on it. I'm like, I, I have no interest in that. I, I, but she loves it. And Good. there are people that love sure. it. Like, yeah, I love yeah, Superman. Is that enough. a gorilla's avatar? Is that gorilla's? Can I tune into the Frank Quietly Hot Lady stream? <laughs> I'll go, talk Jesse. to Larry about it. Sure. That's your next batter days there, uh, there Jess. <laughs> what I do. I'm an ideas man. I just throw them at the board and Jess just picks them out. I got you, sure. Jess. I got you. Thank you, buddy. Midnight Mass. John Rosen, Paul Lee, 208 pages, collecting Midnight Mass 1 through 8. There was a TV show a few years back, wasn't there? Yeah, but I don't think it has anything to do with no. that show. Yeah. Oh, it is a black oh, label line. Oh, okay, sorry. That was part of the it. house on Haunted Hill. And oh, yeah, no, you're right. That yeah. The Flanagan verse. Yeah, yeah. yeah. oh, they're so good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Speed Force, which we talked about the last time with Jared Williams and Suicide Squad Kill Arkham Asylum. This is John Lehman. And this oh, is that's the, right. We talked about that last time, didn't we? Kill Arkham Asylum one through five. I don't think we. I don't think we knew about this oh, one. No, but we did talk about Speed Force. Speed Force, yeah. Because mm-hmm. I was asking about these two characters, and Dom was telling us about. Uh, oh, that's right. How Wally? Now we have two Wally. Wallace and Wally. The filth is coming back out in print, oh, but in trade paperback uh, format. Ufa. I agree. It was phenomenal. Yeah, it was it. great. I have a bunch of Quietly Morrison X-Men singles. I can grab some <laughs> high <hybrids. laughs> It's hilarious. Ready, dude? It's, it's happening. Go. It's going to happen. Oh, look at this. The hot ladies of Quietly. <laughs> All right. Aquaman. I even named it for you. You need a thumbnail. I got a guy, Jess. Uh, Aquaman by Peter David. Omnibus. A long time coming. It's finally happening. Uh, collecting Aquaman 0 through 49. Aquaman 1 through 4. Time and Tide 1 through 4. Tempest 1 through 4. And more. I don't more. think more is going to be the Chronicles of Atlantis just because of that page count. Right. But, oh, that would be awesome if it is because yeah. that deluxe yeah. edition is out of print um, and it would be so mm-hmm. good to have it all in one book. And, it, you know, that goes to show you just how much I'm super excited for Superman, the Triangle Years. This damn book has been in my top three most That's wanted right. omnis since I started the channel. Mm-hmm. I love his run. It was never fully collected in trade paperback. They canceled the third book. And mm-hmm. I'm really, really curious how they're going to, if they're going to handle a second book that follows up his run with, uh, what was it? Abnett and Lanning and Eric mm-hmm. Larson's run. Yeah. Uh, Kurt Busiek eventually taking over the book. But yeah, this is phenomenal. I'm so happy about this. Really um, I can think there were better covers they could have chosen, but that's a minor quibble. Yeah. Uh, if there's going to be a hot ladies of quietly <laughs> stream, then you should get that guy over it. Look, comics. These guys are building your stream for you, Jess. <laughs> Apparently, the comic tropes guy is a fan of quietly ladies. Uh, okay. <laughs> Jess is I'm like, go. so Batman I'm, writing, the I'm writing it all down. This is awesome. Batman the Colt. Deluxe edition. So excited for this one. I still um, have my singles of this. Yes, so do I. Never been course. released in a deluxe edition. It has been released in trade paperback. Uh, 216 pages, $39.99, and collecting Batman the Cult 1 through 4. When I think in the last stream, when people were asking what's the what's the pitch for this one, mm-hmm. all you have to know is Bernie Wrights and Batman, baby. That's it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Worth it. That's yeah. it. You don't need even need to know the plot. Oh yeah, I'm sorry, Jim Starlin also. Yeah, Jim Starlin's pretty good. Turning rights and yeah. ra- drawing Batman. Are you kidding me? Yes. Uh, Elseworlds Batman Volume Two, where we have the Red Rain cover there by Ugh, Kelly Jones trilogy. Uh, so it looks yeah. like yeah, I think this is going to collect the trilogy here. Yep, you have yep. Red Rain, Bloodstorm, and Crimson Mist. Mm-hmm. Yeah. These are 288 the, pages. They're very gross, but they're good. Yeah. yeah. Oh, they're I've, so I've, good, though. And Kelly Jones knows like he knew exactly who his audience was for that book. 
Uh, Omar, yeah, what's I've your favorite also... Peter David run? I picked up his Hulk Omni because mm -hmm. of you, so thank you for that. I hope you enjoyed it, man. Oh, that's a tough one. X Factor. X Factor. Uh, I love X Factor. Yeah. X Factor's so good. Hulk is good and he has a really good wrap up ending. It's not what. No, never mind. That's a spoiler. <laughs> um, oh, that's all just the... tough, man. Because I've all loved the animals die. Young Justice and Aquaman and Supergirl, so underrated. Fallen mm. Angel. Uh, I, I guess I would have to go with, with oh, Spidey 2099. That one's good too. Uh, Hulk. Oh, I got to yeah. go with Hulk. Hulk was mm. a game changer. It was, it, it, it's phenomenal. A little bit of a slow burn, but oh my gosh, when you get to the good stuff. It's the good stuff. Uh, Superman 78. This is a follow-up, right, Jess? Uh, I'm not familiar with the metal curtain, so yeah, it must be. Yeah, this is Robert Vendetti. Yep. Okay, so follow-up. It's in yeah, paperback. It's, it, yeah, there, it's we're now bringing uh, Metallo into the uh, Christopher Reeve era. Oh, oh, oh I loved, loved the first book. Yeah. That book was amazing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think I'm in for this I think one. they're, I think it just, they've, had three maybe four issues out so it's about it's almost wrapping up hey lily how are you doing warren do you really hate to say it oh uh, <laughs> are you kidding me <laughs> this is, this is <laughs> oh no dude no it's too warren, easy to troll if i didn't ban him for saying that the cowboy bebop live action show was better than the anime oh my god no i'm not gonna ban him for anything stupid <laughs> he's unbannable then <laughs> Dude, I wasn't even on the stream when he said it, and I'm like, I feel like I just need to. <laughs> I, I, right I liked now. on the stream people were just like saying, "Don't, don't give Omar the idea to make Bar a moderator." <laughs> <laughs> uh, Catwoman Volume Four. That is a. Uh, teeny, okay, so it is Teeny Howard still writing this series. Very, very cool, and of course, John Constant. Jess, mm -hmm. Jess, how do you say this man's name? Uh, if uh, you're from Burberry, not say it like you were born in America. How do you say his name? Constantine. You lying bastard! This is not <laughs> how you said it for years. Constantine. Same with your Jess, Jess. Constantine Howard. I don't know. Constant <laughs> Constantine. Besides, all the, all, the, all the Brits are asleep right now. You can safely say. Constantine. Oh, Constantine. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> He's been reading. Uh, yeah, John Istanbul. Love it. Love it. Uh, Constantine, by the way. Sorry about that. Jess no. does not represent. <laughs> uh, 1,584 <laughs> pages. You had a couple <laughs> disclaimers on me now. <laughs> I do. I do. Oh, I'm so excited for this one, man. This is great. This is what I've been it, wanting for years. I really, 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 really hope that they just take off. And I love Jamie Delano's run. I hope they take off Jamie Delano's name and just rebranded as John Constantine Hellblazer Volume 1. That way we have an unbroken run. Super solid. Yeah, yeah because that might, that might have been preferable. Yeah, Because we talked about uh, Grant Morrison, not Grant Morrison, uh, Neil Gaiman's oh, 26 and 27 are, they, are not in there. Or are they? Yeah. Uh, no, 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 no. I mean, they, they do have stories in there not by Delano. It okay. was in... Um, what would be in volume two? Because if Garth Ennis's run starts with 40, I think it's 40. Mm -hmm. I'm almost 100% as 40. How much more could they collect in another omnibus to have a, a volume two? What could oh. they add to it? And the other thing that it threw me off is the page count of this book, but maybe it's the page count that's going to go because it is a volume one. This is the one that we were talking about that um, we were trying to, to figure out what DC had wrong in this one, uh, right. just based it, on the it, yeah. amount of issues that are in here and the cover, there are like so. four and a half trades that make up his run before Morrison wrote over. 27. I thought Neil Gaiman no, wrote 27. And as starts in 41, thank you. That's yeah. what it was. Yeah, I mean, Hellblazer writers tend to stick around a while. You just oh, yeah, there are big you, arcs. You could chunk up quite a bit of that 300 issue run by writer i'm not saying it's a good idea i kind of like your idea of just starting with number one yeah. but, well the problem with that is remember the way through. that hellblazer by ennis is mapped oh sure oh no sure yeah like there there's um, stuff that when he came yeah. back to the book yeah 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 yeah, yeah. So then you're just jumping but, around you know, and i mean i don't know i just my writer you just about could yeah. i feel like john constantine 
15. 27, Neil Gaiman. Uh, thank you, Jess. Not I feel like Morris. with with him, like that name, the character, it would sell anyway. So even just doing a volume one would be okay. I don't know. That, that's just my thoughts. You know, regardless, I'm going to get it. I'm super excited sure. for it. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, remember, like, with, 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 I just don't like missing issues. So, like, Hellblazer by Garth Dennis has, like, that, what, 50, issue 51, I think. And then it jumps ahead to, like, 129 when he came back for the book. Yeah. Wonder Woman by George Perez is coming back to print in a trade paperback, which we talked about. The Adventures of Superman John Kent has a trade. One that we're all, I think, seal of approval on. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Kane. Thank you. Oh, that's that's day. I didn't even see that. Thank you, Kane. Uh, isn't this being collected in an omnibus? Which one, buddy? Uh, Ricardo, Wonder Woman? Or were we still talking about Hellblazer? That is the omnibus. Uh, Wonder Woman has been collected. That stuff is in the George Pettis omnibus. Batgirl, Stephanie Brown is no omnibus, though. One day. Um, and I told Jess to get this one because he had the skinny trays and these fatties, thickies, sorry. Uh, have more than the skinny trades do. Oh, this is another one. Okay. Like the... Okay. Good. Uh, so, you. Birds of Prey, Murder and Mystery. Yeah. Hmm. Coming back to print, collecting Birds of Prey 56 through 67. Mm -hmm. Still hmm. waiting for that Omni. <laughs> That's going to be a few. few Omni. I'm, I'm just wondering why they decided to do this one. And not the Chuck Dixon one, because we already had these collected, right? Um, and I think some of these it, are badly out of print. Like this one might be out of print. Yeah, I, it it so could, at, at this point it could be the reality that Gail Simone's Birds of Prey sells better than Chuck Dixon. No, no, no. I'm not saying. Uh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it does. I think maybe it does. Uh, didn't they start reprinting them like right around 2020? With this well, no, one, well no, well, no. In fact, they just they just released the last one. Last, yeah, the like one that they missed week. that they went back to do. Yeah, like last week they just released. The last this one. is mm -hmm. yeah. So this is the one that relaunched or restarted, restarted the reprints of those yeah. trade paperbacks in a thicker trade format. Yes. Okay. Elseworlds just golly, man. Why? DC is like here's all Ooh. the Elseworlds, baby. This is great. Including I love some of these. World's Funnest. I remember that book. Oh, yeah. <laughs> With okay, Lake, Green, Equal, Green Lantern, Emerald Knights, Flashpoint, and mm -hmm. Conjurers. Cr created and, Equal and Emerald Knights are some of my favorites in this one. Nice. Mm -hmm. I like World's Funnest. That was good. Baby yeah, Nisa, Dixon. 432 pages, $34.99. Green Lantern by Jeff Johns, book three, which we talked about. Superman, House of Brainiac, we talked about the last time. Even though we talked about the, the last time, another book I'm super excited for. Mm -hmm. And that is Flash by Mark Wade. Yep. Still no content. Still no content. But that's okay. And we were thinking, what what did we decide the last time? Four Omnis all together? Four. Is that right? Got a lot yeah. of trades yeah. out. Wow. Yeah, I've got, I've got like, looking at I'm looking at them right now. Right now, I've got the Omni and I've got three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Slash. With, She's done. with uh the Grant Morrison trade in the middle of it. So yeah, a total of eight trades made up the Wade run. Okay. Are yeah. those the, the thick trades? Yeah, those are the thick trades. Uh, I think this is the first Simone. Eleven hundred and ninety-two pages, one hundred and fifty dollars. I'm thinking maybe they'll do four. Yeah, yeah, because they like the, the first including one made like up. the Wild Wild, like the Wild Wild West, those stories when he came back. Yeah, the third um, one, the first Omni collected part of three, so not all of it though. Uh, let's see here. Also, some of Simone's issues are major out of print. That is true. Yeah, I think volume that two. That's right. Uh, nobody's saying volume. There should be three omnis. But I was thinking about like where would his other stuff be when he comes back? Because we know they're not collecting the Grant Morrison. I assume that's a deluxe, they're not that's collecting a deluxe Grant Morrison now. now. Yeah. Um, and Mark Miller book. Mm -hmm. And somebody oh. was asking about murder mystery, and Luke Warren's on top of it. That yeah, is the yeah, first yeah, trade paperback. Yeah. Yeah, I said that, and I said it went out of print as soon as it was reprinted. Oh, so there you, you go. That Warren, yeah, Warren, Jess is on top of that. Yeah, don't be <laughs> copying what I say. 
I was thinking um, the Ringo cover is awesome too. I think it's perfect. I wonder if they'll have a direct market cover here because the last time they didn't even announce they had a direct market cover until shops got it and they were like, oh, I can order a direct market cover. And I wonder if they'll announce one first. Absolute DC Batman DC. Death of the Family, which we know comes with that. Transparent. Yeah. Is it, is, is, is it packaged? Is uh, Lars. Oh, I'm not sure. There's an actual. I was wondering, is it is it packaged with an actual skinned human face that you could put it on your own and it's, pretend to be the Joker? Do, do, does it face? wear the lotion on its skin or does it get the hose again, oh, Lars? I got to know. Guy you just you guys. Guys. <laughs> that's a cover. No, no. Thank you. I knew there were smart people yeah, watching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, thought Lars, a man of high vocabulary, could have. They told did the me same thing with the uh, the hardcover. When yeah, the first printing of the. Yeah. I think I, I think I blanked on it because I kind of don't care. Um, wow! Yeah. <laughs> wow. Hey. Don't care about Batman or I don't care about acetate covers. Oh, okay. Batman: uh, Death of the Family. Yeah. This story was good. I liked it. Scott Snyder and uh, I have strong feelings about this story. Uh, Scott yeah, Snyder and Greg Lulo. A bit rough for me. Yeah. Uh, I love it. This was rough for you. And you're okay with we three? No, me? <laughs> no. Oh, Lord, yeah. Oh, Lars. We, we three, I feel, had something meaningful to say, whereas this just kind of dovetailed into pure horror just for the sake of doing a horror comic. Okay. That, it was cool. <laughs> I, I have thoughts I don't want to spoil, though. Okay. Uh, I know at least two guys on the stream and <laughs> lots of people watching right now are That's super it. excited. For You're Batman and Superman, <laughs> world's finest and silver age omnibus. I I already have it. <laughs> oh, so need, this is a new edition. Damn. All they right. They need to get into volume three, uh, so that we can get into the <clears throat> Neil Adams. I think I already said this. We need volume three so we can get into the part where Neil Adams oh. starts drawing the covers and the interiors. There's like our man Doug. Doug's on it. He's with you guys. He's nice, there. Dougie. Doug. All right. What about you, Lars? Is this your cup of tea or no? Thank you. Uh, I mean, no, but I mean, if other people want to enjoy it, that's great, but it's not for me. Mega Shrimps, or how are you, buddy? Um, Batman Volume 2 coming back to print. All right. Let's get to the DC's finest, which I think are found in this page. Scooby-Doo's Greatest Adventures, Batwoman, Elegy, the new, the new printing of this. And here we go. Ah, there we yes, go. Would you please read this title, DC's Finest. <laughs> what is that today? <laughs> DC Finest Batman Year One and Twelve. Ha! Two of the greatest stories in Batman's oh, history now, together now my, for the first time, baby. Now my question is: Does the direct market cover of this have the one with Batman and the gun? Because that, that got, I want, uh, the, I want that direct oh, market cover for. Me, that, that's, that's, <laughs> I want that cover. Like, I love that cover. I will celebrate that cover up and down. This is DC's that. finest and DC's. There you go. That's what I'm talking uh -oh, about. Uh oh. There we go. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. That one. Signed, even. Big signed. shout out to Roberto. <laughs> and Alex for getting this for me. They know how much I love this story. And they got oh the sign. God. They stood in line to get the sign by Alan Davis, man. Was this Hondo and Maniac Matt? Yes. Those wow. Guys are crazy. I love them. Yeah, they <laughs> are my, great. It is one of my favorite <laughs> covers just because he's already Batman. Now he's got a gun. You're really going to tick him off now? <laughs> <laughs> edgy, baby. That's back Batman's when I was in the edgy. Gun. I love oh. how you made me read that. <laughs> <laughs> it was good. Without oh Batman God. Year Two, we wouldn't have the best Batman movie ever. You Mask of the are Fantastic. correct. Batman wow. 404 to 414. Batman Annual 11. Detective Comics 571 to 581. This is amazing mapping. I would have loved to have been there when they had like, hey, let's let's just put these books in chronological order where it makes <laughs> sense. Oh, I, I'm super excited for this. Uh, they finally have the prices but again like i said the catalog they could change 592 pages that mm. is a compendium that's bigger than the other compendium we just saw <coughs> uh crazy but this is their version of marvel epics they're mm. doing they're not giving you a volume number but what they have are the years the years are on the spine of the books oh, we okay. saw the designs and the years are on the back of the book <laughs> i'm so tempted to read here too just because Please don't lose respect for me if you don't like it. Oh, Logan, you should, Logan, you should read it. You should. I think everybody should read it. It'll be an hour of your time you'll never get back. 
Let me tell you something. Man. Then you read Trouble, and then you're like, okay, year two is not that bad. <laughs> Trouble, <laughs> <don't keep playing. laughs> uh, but let's keep moving because we have a lot of D- like DC's like, here we go. We're going to fire on all centers and we're going to let them go. We have a lot of DC's finest books to talk about. But now we have the content. So we have DC's finest Superman, The Coming of Superman, which we know is going to be the very first volume. Of course, based on the cover, $39.99, 584 pages, and collecting the first two years of Superman. So Action Comics 1 through 25 and Superman Ooh, 1 through 5. Wow, that's a lot. And New York Ish. World's Fair number one. Now, this stuff has been collected in Omnibus Edition, but of course, this is a more affordable format for people that only like I. Okay, okay. Warren, you almost made me curse. Like, real <laughs> <bad>. <laughs> <laughs> not today devil not today uh elseworlds batman volume three and this one here contains brotherhood of the bat batman dark knight oh, of the story. round table mm-hmm. one and two the night gallery mask and scar of bat brotherhood of the bat i'm telling you it's just worth it to see every freaking costume that man had designed that is that, that is worth the price price of admission Nice. Yeah, I'm gonna get this based on Chris's recommendation. It's a fun. It's a fun story. It's a real fun Great. story. That one. I hope you I'm enjoy gonna get, it. I'm gonna get all <laughs> these Elseworlds books. What happens to Batman Year Three? Batman Year Three is practically Robin Year One. He's so got an you, Uzi it, on and, the cover. <laughs> and Jeff Loeb has a tendency to retcon my favorite story of Year Two with Long Halloween, and he did the same thing with Year Three with Dark Victory. So that's what happened to Batman Year Three. <laughs> It will be collected in these DC's finest, hopefully. So it will be, I don't know where they're going to go after this, uh, you know, because we're looking at year one, year two. That one came out in 89, the following year. So it might be in the next volume, but I don't know if they'll go back to the beginning of Batman, like the Golden Age or Silver Age. That's, I assume they're going to be like the epics jumping around. We knew about this one, the hard traveling heroes, and we've seen the content of this one which is a lot more than the Green Lantern, Green Arrow, Hard Traveling Heroes, but this is the omnibus version. Mm-hmm. You still going to pick this up, uh, Jess? Yeah, I think I am. Uh, Denny O'Neill, I I feel like he continues to write it all the way through the Flash backups. Um, and the, so the writing was good. The, you mm-hmm. know, the art wasn't as good as um, Neil Adams, but they're still solid... Uh, uh, Denny O'Neill stories. So I think I okay. am going to have to pick this up. Um, this is a very, I mean, I, I yeah. and I'm highlighting this question because this has been fair. brought up a lot and it is a very first, like it, it's a fair it, statement to make. And I it, saw somebody yesterday commenting on why people hate on DC so much. And a lot of it has to been like, is due to this long history of DC just canceling things left and right. Yeah. Without warnings, without but I'll, just pulling I'll, things. But it seems like for the last, Two catalogs has been pretty good. I feel like the overwhelming tidal wave of what we're looking at here is pretty safe picks that it will get made. This is actually a fairly restrained schedule on DC's part, not in terms of volume, but in terms of what they're selecting to publish. So I oh, except for Legion of Superheroes. Of except, of course, Legion of Superheroes. No, no, but even, no, but even <laughs> that, even then they have a $20 <laughs> volume of the best known Legion story ever. No, I think most of this will come out. Yeah. There's a lot of Yes, this is a question too. for you, buddy. Why is there no issue 88 in there? Is there a reason? Is it not by... Like, oh, um, that was a... He only did the... Neil Adams only did the cover. It's um, reprints of like uh, Golden Age Green Lantern. And there you like go. That. Man with the answers. Just brag, Correct. everybody. Omni go. section of Green Lantern stories. Previously published. So, I... I <laughs> um interesting jsa compendium volume one i i didn't even i i i i, I oh god i don't know what to say i'm i hadn't i hadn't seen this so this is the first time i'm looking at it they must have decided that jeff johns continues to sell that's the only explanation yes, yes that's true if they're doing that then don't why not why not do it in a more we're looking at a 1300 Page yeah. wow, that's a compendium. That's fifty nine dollars and ninety nine cents. Why don't Why don't you just publish yeah. it as one of those book, like thick books, and get your money back? On they are it. kind of a bit all over the map here because, like Jeff Johns Green Lantern, they've decided we will reprint every all the 
you know, thicky books. Mm -hmm. um, but JSA, we won't reprint them. We'll just lump them into a compendium. That's what makes this a bit odd. That's a big book for a Boy. soft cover, man. That is yeah. a huge. That's gonna. That's definitely gonna test those new soft covers. Like <laughs> it actually doubles as a home uh, protection service too. You know, just yeah. Throw throw that book at your invader. Yeah. Our buddy Dom of X is super excited for the Robin Son of Batman by Patrick Gleason, the Lux edition, putting the two trade paperbacks together. And Batman First Night, Dan Jurgens and Mike Perkins. Mm -hmm. what, what is this? What is this? Comes up with a pulp influence noir yeah. take on the Cape Crusader set in the debut year of 1939. I have not Damn. read it yet. It's just it's <laughs> just coming out. So. Sounds awesome. <laughs> It's just coming out in floppies. It's, yeah, it's oh, just, um, yeah, it's just coming. Oh, out okay. In floppies. Is this a continuation? No, this is the very. Beginning. No, no. This is this is actually. I'm sorry. Let me find it really right before. Quick. You're during. looking at Joe Kelly. These uh, those were a series of one shots, and that's why they're uh, crediting those people. Yeah. And that led into the JSA series by James Robinson and David Goyer. Yeah. And then later on, uh, by Jeff Johns. Yeah. Fun fact: when they first solicited or no it was in the catalog the jsa omnibus they did not have those one shots nor the first four issues the ones that jeff johns did not write because it was jsa by jeff johns omnibus all of us in the marvel masterworks forum went to uh dc's twitter page and said please add these issues because it's ridiculous that you're not gonna add them because it wasn't by Jeff Johns and they're needed because it sets up the characters, the new yeah. team of the JSA. Yeah, the first like, four issues in particular need to be. Yeah, there. that's the ones yeah. where they're hunting down the old members and yeah. yeah, and they did, they did. So it does like they do or they did listen. Um, for the omnibus, yeah, or for this, yeah. okay, you know, for the omnibus that was yeah. years ago, right? And they, they thank God they listened. Wildcats Compendium Volume One. Let's see what's in this sucker. Did they add the content? Not aliens. <laughs> no. Uh, no, that would be a Marvel versus DC thing. <laughs> yeah. uh, Wildcats one Companion one, 952 pages, $59.99. So it goes probably towards the Travis Charest and the Alan Moore era, I would assume, with 952 pages. Yeah, and, and Travis Charest is credited. Okay. Absolute Mr. Miracle by Tom Miracle. King and Mitch yeah. Gerards. My wife is super it's like she screamed when I said this. Oh, good. <laughs> I'm gonna have she a hard time it. not upgrading. Jess, did you have the oh, trade paper? Stop it, Jess. You're gonna I... upgrade. Stop it. <laughs> you get, the, you get the deluxe after your yeah. trades. Yeah, I, I have the trade of this. I don't even have the deluxe of this. I have oh well then you're gonna upgrade, Jess. Yeah. I mean, I love, how, I love how Chris is uh, uh, egging me on. And then in the chat, he's like trying to get Jake to have some financial <laughs> responsibility. I but I, I'm proud of myself. I stopped Jake from overpaying for Arkham Asylum Absolute. <laughs> and, and, and literally three weeks later, the it, it, I, I said, who told you not to do it? He says, you did. And said, look what's coming out. It's reprinted. <laughs> Uh, I look forward to the Omnidog giveaway. Curious if Stars and Stripes is still in print. They just reprinted, I say just, it probably happened two years ago, as a thick trade paperback. All of those issues in uh, the, the Maxi series uh, where Stargirl debuted, by the way. It's, it's like one of Jeff John's first work at DC. Gargoyle of Gotham, the deluxe edition. I love Rafael Grandpa. Does anybody else here do? He's really hit and miss with people. I love his art style. It's unique, it's crazy, and it stands out, but he's not for everybody. I get uh, it. But he's writing this too, right? Yeah. And so I was wondering if anybody had read this yet. But this is they're doing a deluxe edition of this. Yeah, you're right. It's not for everyone. I've I've really enjoyed the story. I, I, okay, I've, good. I've had a fun okay. time with the story. So I you want me story. to spend my money on this? Hey, you're, you're a grown man. Oh, <laughs> don't start. <laughs> that was dirty. Grandpa is such a cool surname. He is, man. What's up, Reaper? How are you, buddy? Gargoyle. Oh, Gotham. Reed. What's up? Great so far. Thank you. All right. Okay, I'm, good. I'm a big, I'm a big fan of Grandpa. So, mm -hmm. or I'm sorry, Rafael Grandpa. Grandpa. Solid. Oh, and they're doing a noir edition. Oh. Yeah. But is it the Lux? Yeah. 
It is deluxe too. Okay. So, Damn. hmm. Batman Off World. Yeah, Jason I want to read this. I want to read this. It's wild. And Doug Mankey. It's really wild. Nineteen ninety nine. Yeah. Doug Mankey's so good. Yeah, I love his artwork. DC's finest Wonder Woman Origins and Omens. So we knew about this one, but we did not know the content, and we were guessing at the content. So this does collect the beginning of Gail Simone's run, 14 through 35, Outsiders, Five of a Kind, Wonder Woman, Grace, number one, and Brave and Bold, number seven. Meaning that, much like the epics, they're not focused on just Gail Simone's era. So they're doing things that are outside of the stories that she wrote. Matthew, me too, buddy. Me too. Matthew, uh, get back to ordering anime toys. What are you doing watching? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Every noir edition should come with a bottle of bourbon. I like the sound. Cheap, cheap yeah. bourbon mega shrimp, sir, just in a plastic bottle. Uh, Green Lantern by like Jeff Johns, book four. All right, Jess, here we go. Sell people on Scout. I know you like it. Oof, uh, yeah. This is um, the first 29 issues. So the first half of the series, $75, 752 pages, and it is an omnibus. It is the rawest book I think DC has ever uh, printed. Jason Aaron has a story of uh, on an Indian, uh, sorry, um, indigenous people's reservation, uh, the res, where we've got an undercover FBI agent who is torn in two or three different directions. And it is uh, so realistic to, to me. It, it was so realistic and so raw and just showed um how many directions somebody with native american blood in them can be pulled um there's t double t everybody's double crossing triple crossing uh good uh matthew that's good get back to bbts um it, it, double crossing triple crossing murders just incredible crazy poverty that they're trying to pull themselves up through with a casino that uh, some people are for and most people are against, but uh, it is. And so there's a big, there's a big boss on the reservation who wants this casino for obvious reasons that it'll line his pockets. And it, uh, I don't know. It was gripping. I found it. I read uh, the, I have the deluxe editions. I read them all straight through in a couple of days and I just could not put it down. It was so gripping. I, feel like I heard afterwards that Jason Aaron uh, got some criticism criticism from Native Americans about his depictions. Uh, I and I don't know anything about that criticism. I just heard that it was there was criticism, but boy, it seemed realistic and raw to me. And uh, the artwork is fantastic. and there's you can't trust anybody in this book. Nobody's safe. and you know, it that price point made actually so it's like your normal made. life yeah my life yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just like your life you can't trust anybody and yeah you're right. i will add uh this to gara's artwork it's uh it definitely fits the tone of the book because it's i the only word i can use to describe it is dirty yeah it's a like, it's very like, raw yeah in the book like you, it is like, it is you can't trust anybody yeah it is unvarnished and there's no lipstick on this man it is it is a crime uh i think it's a brilliant crime novel that is also maybe a, some kind of crazy love story in several different ways it's mm -hmm. just amazing Aaron wrote in his newsletter um, saying that he still considers this his most his his favorite thing he has written. And, I, and I, he said, and, and it was like for my first major thing at at DC, he still considers it very much his best work. For them to print this, I mean, I'm so it's so it's so I keep using the word raw, but it is the rawest DC book I've ever read. And Steve. I'm tempted. Uh, Third Eye Comics was the one that turned me on to it when it was coming out in singles. And he said, this is the best thing out right now. So I started reading it in singles. And it's, I don't know, it's one of the, my favorite things that I've read uh, from DC. This is the L Device catalog. It is accessible to anybody. And I will leave the link in the description of this video once we're finished. Uh, 
you can go in and look at it yourself. It's the catalog that they have, like a spring and a fall catalog. Absolute Justice, which we knew about, and then DC's nice. Finest. Look at this coming out of nowhere. Ooh. Justice League of America, the bridge between Earths. So we are looking at Silver Age Justice League, right, Jess? Before we even see the content, let's see. If yeah, coming. that's a Silver Age cover right there. Is this um, no is content? It? Okay, just uh, a cover. Various and various. So that is the one of the many, many times that the JSA and the Justice League fought. Yes. Wow. Yeah. I. W uh, it's hard to say without knowing what the uh, what it's collecting, but um, if it starts with the, the the crossovers between Earth One and Earth Two, um, I mean, uh, Flash One Twenty Three is what introduced us back to the the, the Golden Age earth two and there was some fun they're really fun crossovers in the silver age really fun because so you get to see that, all those that is where they're deciding the start so so far we have golden age with batman post crisis with i'm sorry post crisis with batman golden age with superman wonder woman is sort of modern age i guess with gail simone's era that's after infinite crisis and then silver age with the Justice League. I, I, I think it's going to stop at this point and just say that I think the one thing missing from the DC Finest line is like hard collections of things that have not been collected before. Because <laughs> Johnny, you know, where you been? It is a deluxe <laughs> edition. The cult, buddy. I love that he's yelling and freaking out. You can just hear him. Uh, that is the cult deluxe edition, my brother. Um. Yeah, when Marvel started their epic line, I, I recall there being some epics in the mix that you were like, oh, they're finally collecting that. Isn't that mm -hmm. awesome? Um, I'm having a hard time committing to some of these DC finest because like, well, I either already have it um, in some collection or I'm just, I wasn't interested in the first place. But and like to do something like All-Star Squadron, I'm going to be like, oh, okay, you know, I'm game. Well, I think that's where, for me, like a book like Catwoman comes in. I think Which Catwoman has, is that perfect book though. that's like, Oh, this is the first time they're collecting that mini series in a trade paperback. Oh well, maybe the mini series, but like, the, so, most, but most of the Jim Balance stuff did get. Or, or yes, Jim no, no, not get. most. They only collected two trades of Jim Balance run, and that's it. And then but, they jumped but, right to. Yeah, but you see, uh, my, but you see my. They point. did some some of uh, Will Pfeiffer's run. I don't know. They didn't even do the last part of Will Pfeiffer's run with where she kills. Well, crap. That's a spoiler. Never mind. That's <laughs> they, a spoiler. They, never mind. Wait, 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 wait. But that's been redcon because of uh, what's it called? Flashpoint. So that never happened anyway. Um, so this is Elseworld Superman Volume Two, collecting Superboy's Legion One and Two, and Supergirl Wings and Superman True Brit. True Brit was so good. I like that book. James DeMatteis, Alan Davis. Yeah. And Harley Quinn volume. Look, Jess, man, you're going to get Woo. all wow. kinds of love here. Is that uh, coming out in both formats or just paperback? No, paperback, like the first volume, it looks like. <laughs> okay, I'll read it. Outsiders volume one, which is the new Outsider series. Ooh. But I love the team here of Colin yeah. Kelly and Jackson Lansing. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. yeah. That. That, that first issue will leave you with, oh, my gosh, are they actually going there? It, it was a big surprise. I, hmm. I did not see the way they ended that first issue coming. Ooh, I and, like the and sound of that. Luke, Luke, Luke Fox is very insistent uh, when he recruits Batwoman, saying, "There's no Bruce on this team. This is my team." So nice until the relaunch of Batman and the Outsiders. <laughs> it's a fun. <laughs> it, it's a really. It's a real cool kooky book, but I, I'm enjoying it. Batwoman's great, so I'll mm -hmm. I'll definitely get it. What is the collection of Batman stories after 52 Omni called? And is it available in OHC after 52? Mm. Well, you're looking for like the Batman by Grant Morrison and Batman by Paul Dini. Yeah. Uh, there's also Batman Hush Omnibus. Yeah. Uh, and then it got, well, a lot of those got relaunched with uh, the Flashpoint stories. Are you talking about the 52 pickup book? We need Nightfall two and three. Oh, Chris, I'm sure those will be reprinted, buddy. Hey, look, look what's on the look what his avatar is, Lars. Uh, oh, X. Oh, nice, very nice. Yeah, that's a throwback, huh? <laughs> yes. Superman one through five this is the Joshua Williamson Superman and Wonder Woman already with a volume. I love that cover. We talked about it the last. Oh time. yeah, yeah, we did. 
uh wonder woman golden age volume six and this does it have the content no content yet batman by tom king coming out in a yeah. book and a trade paperback print. Print. run must sell because they're reprinting the the thin ones and then they've got this one here night of the yeah. monster man is missing from here Mm -hmm. I like all the Elmer Fudd specials in there too. The, yeah. That's a good one. That is a good that book. Such a great book. Yeah. But the button is collected here in whole. Mm -hmm. And but, Batman the Cult is also coming out in a trade you want, paperback. If you don't want the deluxe? Yeah, we got to settle wait, on both. You wait two months and you can get the trade paperback for $19.99. Look at that. DC's finest. There we go. Flash, the human thunderbolt. Now that is definitely Silver Age. Let's look at, see if they added content. Oh, they did. Oh. So this nice. volume takes the Silver Age Flash stories from Flash 105 to 123, Showcase 4, 8, 13 through 14. Jess, that is the Silver Age, right? That is the beginning That's of the Silver the Age. Beginning right of the Silver Age, yep. With Showcase 4. Oh, look, yeah. right here. Most icon Second and most iconic Flash, Barry Allen, from the very beginning, starting with his Silver Age debut in 1956. Sweet. Yeah, these are great stories with fantastic 600 art. Six hundred pages, thirty nine ninety nine. Man, they're they're. Somebody suggests like somebody in the stream. I think it was the last time we did this, right? They said, "What if this is their entry price, and then all the other volumes will go up in price?" Like uh, Image does that, right? Like I don't know if they still do as often as they used to, but they would mm -hmm. do a volume one for nine dollars and ninety nine cents, and then the rest of the volumes would be like fourteen ninety nine or fifteen ninety nine, price accordingly, right? Mm -hmm. Because they seem to stay with the $39.99 price point. Joe the Barbarian coming out in a trade paperback. Superman Exile and other stories coming back to print. for like, When we did this stream two weeks ago, this was not in the catalog. And people were like, oh, man, it's freaking Superman. <laughs> Superman Exile and other stories is out of print. But now it is coming back to print in November. 912 pages, $125. And collecting four uh, Batman or Superman 445 to 459, Superman 23 to 27, Action Comics 643 to 646, and Action Comics Annual Number Two. Taking place immediately right after the John Byrne Man of Steel hardcovers. So if you want a reading order, there you go. One Superman Man of Steel one, two, three, and four, and then Superman Exile and other stories. Then there's a gap mm -hmm. between this. And the triangle years. God only knows what DC plans to do with that gap, but they're heading in the right direction. This could be good. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Superman, the last days of Lex Luthor. Yes. Luthor. Gene Hackman. Uh, Mark Wade, Brian Hitch. Well, nice. Hello. DC Black Label line. Thank you so oh. much for the super chat, Bricked Up Senpai. And. Bricked up. I Empire. wish we could get a Smallville Season 11 deluxe. Those do, do, they did finish those out in trade paperback, at least. Compact edition! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh well done, Jeremy. Don't, 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 don't put it past <laughs> DC to do that. Don't put that into the universe. What is wrong with you, man? Why would you say that? <laughs> <laughs> the Flash Volume 2, continuing size Spurrier's run. I'm excited to read it. Doesn't have the content. Uh, but looks to be 19.99 a trade paperback. This has been Hitch's best art in years. Mm, oh, wow, that's awesome! Mm, that's great. Absolute Transmetropolitan, which we talked about. Yeah, uh, people were got, like, I got me to buy volume two and hopes volume one. So I'll now be waiting for volume three, like everyone else. People, yeah, are, yeah that's what people wanted. Darks, uh, Dark Knights of Steel. Green Fantastic. Lantern. The, the, man, look at all these DC finest sticking with the See, silver. When, when we talk about D DC not or canceling stuff, all these DC finest are going to come out because if it doesn't, it's going to be a huge embarrassment. It's yeah. too. It, it's already too big to fail. So these will come out. <laughs> um, DC's finest. Green Lantern. The defeat of Green Lantern. Six hundred pages. Thirty nine dollars and ninety nine cents. No content yet. But this is one of the books that they added in the catalog, like last day of the catalog. Yeah. So these are fun Silver stories. Age. Silver Age for sure. Yeah. And just the Society of America <laughs> is also getting a DC's finest treatment. Yeah. Man, and and if you look at like we're talking just that like all these books are coming out weekly. This is almost like Marvel epics. Marvel epics are like every week, and then sometimes two a week. 
Yeah. And that's what DC is doing. So that's, I love competition and man, I, 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 this is good for people that have been wanting to check out these books. This is freaking awesome. Uh, what air golden age? Well, so know. there was some yeah. retcon. No, no, this, is here. The, this is the golden age. Yeah. DC's finest justice society. Well, we, okay. I'm looking at the names, Gardner Fox, Sheldon Mayer, and oh Jeff yeah, Hunter. yeah, oh yeah. No, it's it's the golden age. You can tell from that's the cup. Definitely golden age. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have it doesn't have the content. No, uh, because the last few books and not just that matter. Yeah, okay. they don't that they have the page count of 600 pages and 39 dollars and 99 cents. And so. the you know the, the, these kind of got collected in the All Star archives and yeah, print for forever. So. Yeah. Um, Injustice Compendium. So another format for Injustice. This is another series that I wish they would finish out in omnibus format because there's enough for us third omnibus of Injustice. Mm -hmm. 1,200 pages, $59.99. Man, they are re... I, I'm assuming they did a lot of research on these new builds on the compendiums and we're testing all kinds of things with it. Uh, Gods Among Us 1 through 12, Gods Among Us Annual 1, Gods Among Us Year 2, 1 through 12, and Gods Among Us Year 3. Mm -hmm. God, this is a big book. And Among Us Year 2, Annual 1. Poison Ivy, Volume 4, Jess, and still in trade paperback and hardcover. Nice. $99. I don't think they have the... Oh, they do. They have the content 19 through 24. This is an uh, excellent question. This is the first time I think we've had all of Golden Age All Star in print since the archive line. Yep, I don't think they've they have released anything no, since the I archive line, no. as far as that era or that that particular line. No. Kane, look at you. There's so many great books le releasing this year. I'm glad to see some books getting a reprint. There is. Kane's great. She is. Sweetheart, too. I got to meet her at New York Comic Con. Red oh, Hood, did. Outlaws, Volume 3. And this is another web series? Yeah. It's another webtoon series. And Maddie likes that one. This is the one that's really puzzling. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, I'm not going to release Crisis. Wish, we'll do Zero Peter. Hour. <laughs> I wish Peter was here because he loves this event. Um, he, he does? He loves Zero, Cry uh, zero Hour. Yes. I'm not. I'm not being a joke. Like oh. I'm being serious. Like, he genuinely loves it, and more power it, to it, him. It, it, it would have solved some problems if Marvel had mapped their epic line like this. Because, for example, well, ex Executioner Song. If they just done an Executioner Song epic, then you could have gotten that and slotted it in wherever you wanted, and, and there wouldn't be the double intense double dipping sometimes. I think I th th we talked. Maybe when did we talk about? Oh, it was in the Marvel stream, wasn't it? I asked Curtis if they if there's going to be an issue with this because when you have wow. event lines, especially with zero hour, because zero hour was only five issues, right? It was like issues yeah. five through zero because it was a, a countdown. Everything else around zero hour is going to be Batman. It's going to be Superman. Those issues will eventually be collected in their own DC's finest. Yeah. So it, it's like, what do you do? Do you do a, event epic which is what he thinks marvel should do or just keep printing the trade paperbacks and put the important issues in the epic collections because i think epics for now are it's just too late to add those issues into epics well, they've, already, yeah, I, they've already mapped these things out exactly no i i don't know how you can rejigger the epics at this point but and there are some oh, and don't get me wrong there are some phenomenal freaking um tie-ins with uh, zero hour but I don't it, was, yeah it was some characters been. coming back and team-ups and twists i uh, oh, never mind even saying my favorite one will give away why though uh one of the best things that happened though was the uh um batgirl i love that that weird chemistry between her and ollie too mm. <laughs> gilmer not a fan of how how's the man they'll like kyle rayner my favorite and DC's finest Aha. Legion of superheroes. <laughs> <laughs> so this is where it gets a little odd. So yeah, so they say, first of all, I hate to nitpick, but they say the earliest stories. This is like volume 10 of the archives. Hardly well, this is Jim it. Shooter era, right? So, but we're, so yeah, we're still yeah. looking. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, yes. Well, so and it's Mike. I presume it's Mike Grell. 
Um, I presume they picked this because this is where the Silver Age omnibus is left off. But again, a missed opportunity because there's like five years of Legion from the 80s that has basically never been collected at all. That's where they should have started with this. Because I will probably buy this because I'm a fool and I already own it. I will buy it again. <laughs> but, if they'd, if, but if they'd put out um, the Paul Levitt's Baxter run, then be like people were like, ooh, that, uh, some of that hasn't been collected before. Um, this is the end of the Jim Shooter era and the Babe Cockrum issues. Yeah. So you have Jim Shooter, Carrie Bates, Wynn Mortimer, and Dave Cockrum in here. $39.99, 505 pages. Mm -hmm. So this, if it's if it's the Cockrum stuff, then that it's got to be the Bronze Age then, right? Because it goes right into the, uh, the X-Men stuff. Mm -hmm. And Shooter was a young buck. Deathstroke the Terminator oh, by Marv Wolfman Omnibus. I'm okay. super excited for this one. I think he talked me into this. 1 through 26. Good. Read it, man. It's so good. It's Wolfman in the 90s. Uh, New, T New Titans, 70, Superman 68, and then stories from Showcase 93, 6 through 11. We did talk about that the last time. Suicide Squad, the Dream Team. I assume this is a new book. Eddie Barrows and Nicole Maines. Chris, is that this is new, right? Uh, I if it I have not read it, so I can't comment. Okay. And Death and Return of Superman 30th Anniversary Collection does not have the content yet, but that's okay. Is All right, that, gentlemen, is that let's that talk about side stories for I, 30th Anniversary. Oh God, like, I don't need it in another format. All right, Batman, Bruce I, I, Wayne. I like how they fused this together into murderer turned fugitive. <laughs> Good catch. I didn't even wasn't know. It, wasn't it originally just murder and then fugitive? Yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> murder, and, murder and fugitive is a fun story. It's got some uh, Scott McDaniel artwork in here. It involves Cassandra Kane, uh, Batgirl, Patton Oswald. Yeah, no, I saw that. What? I'm sure it's the introduction. Yeah. yeah but like before Ed Brubaker, who actually. Yeah, I know. Read <laughs> well, yeah, no, that is cool. yeah, I know. Okay. All right. So let's talk about the content. Batgirl 24, 27, and 29, and Batman uh, and 33, Batman 599 and 607, Batman Gotham Knights 25 through 32, and Batman the 10 Cent Adventure number one, which kicks off the whole murder story, Birds of Prey 39, 40, 41, and 43, Detective Comics 766 to 775, Nightwing 65 through 66, 68 and 69, and Robin 98 to 99. Um, okay, so with this collection, we have why didn't they just say Birds of Prey 39 to 41? Okay, mm. doesn't matter. Detective Comics 766, yes. Batgirl 27 29, Gotham Knights 25 through 32, Robin 98 through 99. I want to say this is the exactly the same content, and I don't have it in front of me. It's over there on the shelf as the two fat trade paperbacks, not the not the original release of Fugitive and Murder with the skinny trades, but the fat trades. There was yeah. uh, Batman Bruce Wayne Murder and Batman Bruce Wayne Fugitive. I think all this is is just both of those books together. I don't think they added anything, which is good, right? Like or, or taking away anything. I'm checking right now. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so, yes. A very, very interesting era. Uh, Greg Rucka does some of the stories in here. Yeah. And Greg Rucka is kind of like doing his own story and setting up the character of Sasha to be this big, big deal, which he kind of used in the pages of a Checkmate. So, I'm excited for this because it gives me hope for one a of my favorite Azrael collections. is missing. What is it? Azrael is missing. No way they skip something. Uh, it As, might be a mistake. It says Azrael 91 through 92 in the future. Yeah, Azrael did did play a part in that. Mm -hmm. um, you got hmm, Batgirl 29 the, and 30. The, what's right, the page so count on those, Chris? All right, so Murderer. Please. Because we're looking at 1,056 pages, so there is enough. Six. 20 for mm -hmm. murderer and then of 
course they don't do page numbers. That's I would love to see Batman Legacy Contagion. That would be yeah, my that would, omnibus. That would, yeah, that would be good. Yeah. And some of this taking place in that War Games era, or right before the War Games, uh, but there was something, there was a big storyline through the so pages. 434 of Fugitive. Okay. Um, <laughs> a gonk. Was that a gonk? That <laughs> <laughs> was me hitting the table. Uh, a gonk. What's that? Can I 400 see and Rogers? I, well, it might have it in there then. Yeah, they just didn't list it. it. It'd be the oddest thing to leave out because it looks like it's got everything else. Yeah, I, I'm assuming. Okay, wait, let me look at the description. Uh, extended family of Nightwing, Robin, Oracle, Batgirl, Spoiler, and Alfred. Okay, mm, no Asriel. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm assuming it's going to add it. So. Yeah, so that's the only thing I see missing. Thank you, thank you, sir. Uh, DC's yep. finest Catwoman Lifelines, which we didn't have the content before, and now it looks like we do with the Action Comics 611 through 614, Catwoman Defiant, Showcase 93, 1 through 4, Catwoman 1 through 4, Catwoman 1993, that's the Jim Balance stuff uh, at large that's been previously collected, yeah. 1 through 12, and Catwoman Annual number 1. So Rob D, my man with the maths, 1050. And what was this one? Ten fifty six. Yeah, yep, I think so. Astro's got to be in there. Yeah, they got to. They have, put, have to put it in there. All right. So Lars, Catwoman. Yep. Yes, you're interested, right? You're in. Uh sure. No, not okay. really. But yeah. What is wrong with you? We <laughs> talked about the multiverse. I, I, I prefer. <laughs> I prefer other versions of the character. <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> Uh, we talked about multiversity. Harley screws up the oh, DCU. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We talked about Superman Volume Three, uh, Superman Kryptonite, one that I'm so excited for because I did not have this in the Lux edition, and it's coming back to print. And we got one more page to look at with yeah. Batman Volume Three, which we knew about Volume One and Two, mm -hmm. but Volume Three is also getting a reprint. Batman Bat Battle for the Cow, the complete collection. Let's see what this collects. Yeah, I was about to say, what are the contents? Nothing. Not not <laughs> not there. <laughs> Nothing. 288 pages. I love so, that. Yeah, uh, they're also doing complete collections too. $39.99. Um I love the I, I remember in the, the singles, I love the connecting covers. That was a great post. Yeah, the Tony Tony Danielle connecting wow. cover. I will say I assume it's gonna have more than the three issues of Battle for the Cow. <laughs> it'll probably have the Oracle one shot. It'll it'll have a, a couple of the mini series. Maybe it might have some of the Batman by Fabian Iciesa that hasn't been properly collected. Where, where are these? These are all previously collected, though. In in thin trade paperbacks called Battle for the Cow. Yeah. So yeah. okay, so so this hasn't been collected uh, in any kind of hardcover omnibus format before. Not omnibus. Yeah, no. Hardcovers, yes, but standard size card hardcovers. Okay, so but I. This actually... is the first time that they're coming out with a complete collection of Battle for the Cow instead of running around and looking for these skinny yeah. trades. Yeah. Okay. And and some of those are so out of print that this yeah. is good for people that missed yeah. out on it. Uh, <laughs> Batman Battle for the Cow, Moo. Thank <laughs> you, Shonda Sook, for that. <laughs> Uh, Nightwing six coming out in trade and in hardcover, and I believe this is the final. No, doesn't say. Um, but no, it could be the final is... issue. Mm, I don't think so. No, because I because I read the pirate story, and I think it was yep. quite a bit after that. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's the one where Nightwing has a beard. It goes that, that's the final story. And fifty-two volume two is coming two. out. I think there's only two of these. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no, they they redid them. Yeah. And Detective Comics Volume 4, which was not in the catalog the last time. Ron V, Dan Waters, both in trade and in hardcover. Let's see if there's actual content for this. No content. Birds of Prey 2! Damn! Nice. I can't imagine that being content. They, they don't have enough for a Volume 2 yet, but very happy to see this. Oh, I didn't know Javier Pina was going to do the second uh, arc. I like his art a lot. And Kelly Thompson. She's phenomenal. She is. Mm -hmm. All right, where's Geo? Because holy crap, hell has frozen <laughs> over DC's finest. Aquaman, <laughs> King of Atlantis. 
six hundred pages, thirty nine ninety nine. Is this the Silver Age stuff? Well, I can tell you the creators are Jack Miller, Robert Bernstein, and Ramona Fredon, who was Yeah, I think this is Silver Age. Because wasn't she one of the Silver Age artists on the book? Yeah. The DC Direct action figures that are based on this era are just about the most homoerotic action figures I have ever seen. Um, well, oh, respect to Google Hulk, on, uh, Lars. Where, where did you get those, Lars? Just to, okay. <laughs> Wow. It is Aquaman and Aqualad and a giant seahorse. And wow. Incredible. <laughs> hmm. <Yeah. laughs> I'm just saying what's there on the screen. I mean, for God's sake. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. yeah. Stormwatch is coming out with a compendium. Oh, yeah. And, and again, I bet you not the alien issues. As we no, no. No way. No. Ours, I told you where to find that. You're going to find that in the Marvel versus DC omnibus. Because <laughs> now Disney owns aliens and Marvel is doing the comics. There you go. There we go. Uh, just, collecting just Stormwatch 3750. Stormwatch preview number one and Stormwatch one through 11. So it's pretty pretty much uh, the same content as the trades, yeah, and the hardcovers. Hardcovers, yeah. Six hundred and fifty six pages, fifty nine dollars and ninety nine cents, and it is a compendium. And if you want it to make sense, you got to get Wildcats versus Aliens on eBay for like six bucks. Yeah. Or just be like, oh, some of these dudes died. <laughs> it oh, makes zero sense. Odd, cre odd creative choice, yes. Which it makes it, zero it, sense without oh, I'm not saying it was a smart choice. I just think <laughs> dudes die all the time in comics. Do you need to yeah. go and find it? Well, yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, like of all things you make canon, reading. it's going to be the aliens book. <laughs> yeah, you're just, you're just reading along. Everything's fine. And then it cuts to their funerals. And it's like, okay. We, yeah, it reboots the whole team. It just doesn't make sense without that issue. I, I, I do like how they're just wailing Utani people paying for the funeral. Who are these people? <laughs> I do like how they've got the uh, like the lead up to the authority splashed on the cover there, which is not a crazy idea. Yeah, 52 volume two will not include World War Three. It never has, no. and this is a reprint. Um, let me just double why check it they, says new printing. Why are they so offended about uh, like not putting World War Three into this? Any of these. I, I I lost complete faith. I I'm not I'm. Uh, I, there I'm not there, there is a there, there there there's a big problem with the artist. On the oh board. oh yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah yeah. But you're I don't right. know if that's the reason. I don't even think DC yeah. even knows. Yeah. Uh, but I, I just don't think they they probably yeah. didn't think about it. It was a mini series that was lost, lost upon other mini series. And it, yeah. I think it per fits perfectly well between what is the issue 51 and no, no 50 and 51. Yeah. Something like that. I, I, 52 collections need to just have 52. Yeah. Shut I, up. Lars. <laughs> it just, it I, always, it always I, bugs I, me. I wouldn't want, but you're right about, you're right about the artist. I, I remember that you're right about, but I, but Chris, I really don't think even DC knows. Like, I don't think they knew. Like, they we just, just we put like, that a lot with DC. We don't even think DC knows. <laughs> I don't, I think they're just worried about it. Let's get these books out. Oh, it's a reprint. Let's just reprint it. Yeah. Um, we do have a Batman Scooby-Doo mysteries with Sholy fish. Um, and this is, Nope, no content. Blue Beetle Volume 2. I'm glad that we're getting a Volume 2. Gives me hopes that it continues with the series. I heard good things about it. Wow. I, I do have a question for both you, Lars, and Jess, because I'm pretty sure you guys would be the only one the, here. The, 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 old, the old people. We're the only no, ones. No, 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 no. <laughs> uh, people that have read, that, that collected the archives when they were coming out. Mm, yeah. Supergirl archives... Do you have? Do you still have those, Jess? Uh, I don't. I, the omnibus. I yeah. I got the omnibus. I was curious to see how many pages. I don't think they had six hundred. I thought those were like three hundred pages, right? Because they were like masterwork size. Yeah, they're fairly thin. Um, well, I say fairly thin. I mean, they're no yeah. She was backup size. stories. Um, yeah, there might be a little in here that's not in the archives, but as Jess says, there was a Silver Age omnibus. Yeah, which, which I know should, you ended up getting. Which should, so, which, should, which should easily have this. Auto Binder. And but, but again, they've been out of print forever, so yeah. And Jim Mooney, Auto Binder, uh, created uh, Marvel Man. He also created the Legion of Superheroes. Yeah, yeah baby. Legacy lives on more with Miracle Man. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Miracle Man. 
better Does either. Does have a Miracle uh, Man flight ring? No. Uh, okay. You know what? I'm, 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 I, I, I got to go through this. So I go and pack or my wife's going to yell at me. Yeah. Kneel before, before Zog. It's hard right to see the children get to bed at some point. Yeah. Joke, I got to worry about myself. I got to edit and then go pack. Kneel before. I'm not going to. I'm going to go and buy clothes on the way uh, to DC. Kneel before Zod. Joe Casey. Didn't know he was writing this, but that's really cool. Adventures of Superman writer Joe Casey and artist Dan McDade. General Zod. And... Swamp ah. Thing, interesting, so interesting that, oh, and we have the content for this. Okay, so this yeah. is coming out of January of 2025, Swamp Thing by Mark Miller and Phil Hester Omnibus. And this is collecting Swamp Thing 140 to 171. Yep. It will have a brand new introduction by Hester, a brand new afterward by Miller, and a gallery of never before seeing behind the scenes artwork and phil hester's local um so i have to support him but he, it's also pretty great it's also pretty great stuff you dig yeah. this i like this a lot yeah. i love mark miller's take on it i um i really like the first story arc uh that was the one that was co-written by grant morrison yeah. and this let me see collecting issues 140 to 171 896 pages 125 dollars I'm just happy to see more uh, Swamp Thing in Omnibus yeah. form. Mm -hmm. Sure. And I, I will upgrade this from my trades. Do you have the trades, Jess? Yeah. What was it the Dark Genesis storyline, I think, was in this, right? I think so, yeah. Yeah. And DC's Finest is yeah. also hitting Green Arrow. Good choice. Mm. And it looks like this is the Mike Grouse, a long bow hunter, so I assume. Oh, yeah. Okay. And again, Giordano. Yeah. So 600 pages, $39.99. So immediately replacing those trade paperbacks of the Mike Corral stuff. Very, Absolutely very great cool. Great stuff for, to read with your kids. It'll teach a lot of life lessons. No, these, this is not. <laughs> this isn't a complex <laughs> size. This is a DC's finest, Chris. I, I, I also recall there being a fair amount of sex in this, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was his point. <laughs> yeah. It was implied. It wasn't really seen. You, you, you don't need to bother with sex ed with your kids. Just give them, yeah. A copy. Oh my God. All right. Green Lantern War Journal Volume 2, Philip Kennedy Johnson continuing his series. So uh, I have we not have read 13. This. Rob, my dude, 13 DC's yeah. finest. And one coming out every week if my calculations were well, correct. If you're going to go for it, go for it. Yeah. I have not read this War Journal. Um, um, no. It's well, it's the new series by Philip uh -huh. Kennedy Johnson, but it's focusing on John Stewart. Okay, I like Philip Kennedy Johnson's writing, so and I love John Stewart. Mm -hmm. Looks like DC a buy. Howard twenty twenty four, and this is oh NK NK Jamison and Jamal Campbell return to the Hugo Award winning World of Far Sector. I dug mm -hmm. that book. Oh, yeah, it was good. Jamal Campbell, man. Art was so good in that. This volume collects all the stories from DC Power 2024. There you go. And Mr. Static Sh Shadows of the Kota. Collecting Beyond season Comics. One through six. And Beyond Comics is saying, yeah. okay, hey, Green Lantern is yeah. great. Highly recommend. Thank you, Beyond Comics. Good. I will so take Rob that D., right. my dude, thank you so much. 13 DC's finest. I think that's it. Uh, and that's it. All right. We did our job. Hit that like button. Check out waltzcomicshop.com if you live in the EU. Cheap graphic novels if you live in America. But before we go tonight, I want to know what is the one book everybody on the stream is excited for. So I'm going to ask my panel first. My buddy Chris up at the top. Chris, what's the yeah. one book out of this entire catalog you're most uh, excited for so I can look for it? Ooh, there's a I, search I, function. You know, Superman's the easy answer, but my... I, I will not choose that. I'm going to go choose with Hellblazer. See, mm, seeing uh, the first part of that mm. in uh, Omni format is, made me very excited. So that's that's a must buy for me. Can't be narrowed down to one. No, oh, that's, that's right. That's what I do. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I do. What's what's the one choice? Uh, one out of everything that you're most excited for. Yeah, excited for this too. What what about you, Chris? Are you in the same park that we're in? Like, are you are you okay with having a Delano run, and then maybe they'll do a Mike Carey run one day? Uh, Brian Nasrell, you said it before, and, and you're right with it. When you get when you get tied to the the creator focused, you you get gaps. 
and that always worries me at that point. So I'd rather have the character versus the artist. But I do understand when you get like stuff like Peter David and and, and things like that. That means guaranteed money is going straight to the creator. So I I see the plus and minus. I I, I can also see the concern might be that like let's say you put out a Brian Azzarello, um mm -hmm. uh, Hellblazer, and people are like, oh Brian Azzarello, I like him. That's good. If you number them, I mean, like by the time you get up to like. I mean, I'm just going to take like six, seven, eight, nine. You'd worry that sales would, you know, slide catastrophically low. Yeah. Just because of the commitment involved. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. Lars. Oof. Uh, oh, uh, one I'm, book, I'm, one book, Lars. Yeah, Easy fun is Catwoman. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> um. No, well, uh, although Wizard World Des Moines, they did source local talent and they had a lot of uh, the aerial studios here. And my wife did appear on stage as Catwoman. Not oh, unlike, yeah, we've been hearing not, about that. Not unlike the Jim Ballant uh, Catwoman there. Wow. Um, we need pics of that. She, she came out from behind the curtain and I was like, whoa, uh, it was supposed to be a family show. Um, Aquaman by Peter <laughs> David. Aquaman by Peter David. My man, Aquaman by Peter David. Good choice. Good yeah, choice. I mean, we we have been waiting for this for so we have. long. Mm -hmm. um, and finally, finally, it seems the moment is here. Um, another one, as you say, they put out two collections. They stopped. And you're like, mm -hmm. for pity's sake. Um, so finally, it's coming out. Uh, this, this should arrive. So yeah, yep. Long time coming. Now they can do Supergirl by Peter David and our lives will be complete. Yeah. And fall, I like a Fallen Angels oversized hardcover. And a Fallen Angels, yes, you're right. That'd and be... I want Peter David to just just keep writing, keep writing, please. Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah, certainly, certainly. Um, Omni Dog, what about you? What's the one book? And then I'm gonna go through the stream here and see what everybody's well, excited about. It, it's gonna obviously be Superman: The Triangle Years, but I'm trying to think of something else. Um, you can go with that. You can, we can pick the same book. It's not a big deal. It's a momentous occasion. Yeah, this is huge, man. This means a lot. Why are you excited for it? Uh, just because it's collecting stuff that hasn't been collected before. I remember liking that era a lot. Mm -hmm. um, it had, I think it has, it starts off probably with Crisis of the Crimson Kryptonite somewhere in there. I remember liking that story. That's That should be somewhere towards the beginning. Um, and it's just a big gap filler, hopefully leading on to 10 more Omnis. Um, collecting all of it but i can't i uh i guess besides this maybe the mark miller uh swamp thing because mm. i remember really liking that book a lot and i i, I like that swampy's getting another um a, another omnibus that's mm -hmm. great some uh, some of the or oh, oh that hard traveling uh that's Damn it, Jess, I said one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having trouble picking. It's I'll okay, stick buddy. With this. Hard traveling heroes. Why are you excited about this one? Just because, uh, as I said earlier, it's, it continues some Denny O'Neill uh, writing that hasn't been reprinted in a long time. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to this. Is the start of the Matrix Supergirl in the Triangle Omni? No, that would be in the John Byrne. Uh, Man of Steel. That would be in the John Byrne Man of Steel, but it does continue and the mystery deepens in the Triangle Years. Oh, yeah, and then there's Brother Lano and Poison Ivy. There's a lot of good stuff in there. All right, easy. I said one. Wow. You got three. Uh, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what are you excited for, dude? Young, I, spirit, I, I, young I, man? Oh, well, Superman is the, the, the answer, but if I have to go yeah. with the second choice, then it's DC versus Marvel. Are you kidding oh, me? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely, yeah. Never, never, never thought it was going to happen. Ever. Ever, ever. And it's happening. Well, mm -hmm. it's in the catalog. It's been solicited. Yep. And we're finally getting it. Mm -hmm. Holy, holy crap. We are... I've, I've been saying this for the last few years. We are living truly in the golden age of collecting. Oh my God, you stole yeah, we... that directly from me, you rat bastard. <laughs> no, I've been saying it for a lot longer than you no, have. I don't mm -hmm. think so. I'm pretty That's... sure I said it on Omni Bros, which is where you heard it. <laughs> and, you know, man, I, I, let a lot of things, I, I let a lot of things slide, Jess. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. Oh, Besides, he's, a he's a classy guy me. like that, you know? Oh my yeah. God. Yeah. OHC dog knows where it's at, man. 
<laughs> Soon to be copyrighted, apparently. <laughs> it's already copyrighted. Yeah. You can't use it. Every time you use it, you owe, you owe the channel ten dollars. Uh, <laughs> I already yeah, changed I my name. This is, one. this is the one for me. What's everybody else excited for? Let me see what everybody else is excited for here. Uh, there are a lot of good books. I mean, Flash by uh, Mark Wade too. Hellblazer. Who chose Hellblazer? Was that Chris? Yeah, that was a great choice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. Let's see here. Best thing Miller's ever written. It was good. I really liked the first arc because that was co-written by uh, Grant Morrison. And I'd rather read Flash Gordon. I'm just going to skip everything Warren says. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he's the worst. <laughs> he is. All right, here we go. Writes in by Batman. It's, it's OHC. All DC's finest. Okay. That was a loophole. 13 of them. Triangle Superman. DC's fine as the Flash. Hellblazer. Hellblazer. DC versus Marvel without a doubt. Uh, we do have the content. And it looks to be everything but the Asriel. But pretty sure because of the page count, we determined that Asriel is probably yeah. in there. So be excited for that Superman Exile as a reprint. Batman Fugitive Murderer. I guess Catwoman. <laughs> Somebody's Cat twisting for his arm. Uh, Flash by Mark Wade, Alex, my man. Batman Murderer turned fugitive, the Colt Deluxe, and Hellblazer. This guy pulled it. Jess, Batman <laughs> Murderer, <laughs> by Flash, DC's finest Batman, D every DC's finest book, DC's finest line for sure. Well, yeah, I love that wow. you all are excited for that. That's yeah, awesome. That's great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Superman Triangle Years, Jeremy Adams Flash would be Joshua Williamson, Volume Oh, this is a conversation somebody else was having. DC Marvel. Superman Triangle Years. Omar, how much did Brubaker write that Batman? Uh, they were a fourth of it. He, yeah, they were he saying in the, the chat Bat that Batman was written by Brubaker. Detective was Rucka, I think. Yeah, I, during that time. But there was also Kelly Puckett. Uh, Kelly Puckett was writing Batgirl. Chuck Dixon was writing Nightwing. And who was right? Chuck Dixon was writing Robin at the time and Birds of Prey. So about a fourth of the book, I would say. Arson Jess better say Legion of Superheroes. <laughs> you guys blew it. Well, again, well, I, I already own it is the problem. You know, <laughs> like, again, I'm happy to be. You wore your stupid ring, Lars. <laughs> I'm happy that. that <laughs> you took a news and just fly away. <laughs> I, I, like, I'm, I'm being ridiculous by spending money to get that DC Finest Legion again, because I have it in the archives, which is, in fact, better in terms of paper quality. So uh -oh. I'm, I'm spending money to get the inferior version. It's ridiculous. Well, you um, know what? Your shelf is going to be making fun of you when you're missing these two years <laughs> off your shelf because you're replacing it with your dumb archive that is a format that doesn't exist anymore. No, Batman 66, no, um, this reprint, Batgirl, Stephanie Brown. That's another Oh, yeah. Batgirl, Batman, Stephanie Superman, Brown. World's Finest 4. Legion would be Shooter's Return in like 75. Thank you for yeah. that, Atomic Hound. Flash Volume 2 and Superman Triangle. Yeah, I, I, again, they say like, well, the earliest Legion stories. It was about 17 years after they debuted, but that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Lars coming in with the correct the, age, the, right. the almost the age of an entire you know birth to adulthood, <laughs> but it's fine. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Batman the Cult. It, it says deluxe edition, Larry. Yeah, on I September, October, November has one or two omnis. I will get my man. Several tied for number two. Superman book. You missed not Man of Steel, the Triangle Years, mm -hmm. Aquaman, uh, <laughs> Constantine or Constantine. See, Geo would say, uh, for sure, Aquaman, Triangle, Pad, Aquaman, Exile, reprint, and DC's finest. So hyped, DC versus Marvel, Nightwing, Year One Deluxe. For anybody that missed it, that's a great book. Yeah, those books have been out of print. All three of Batman them. Cult. Everyone going to Ikea for more shelving for the DC's finest collection before the end of 2025. Yeah, those Kalaxes will go out of print, or Billy's will go out of print. Triangle Years, Marvel vs. DC, Amalgam, The Cult, Aquaman David, plus World's Finest, Taylor Nightwing to complete the run. Batman Murder Fugitive. I'm always happy to see more Batman. JL8 Volume 2. That's not a choice, Aria. <laughs> <laughs> JL8. <laughs> <laughs> that stupid book was sold out when I was trying to find it. I keep forgetting to go and order it. 
Flash by Mark Wade 2, Aquaman, Triangle Years, Hellblazer, Swamp Thing, Batman, Murder, Fugitive, My Wallet is Dead. This is true. <laughs> Correct. From Crimson Crept and okay. I to Blackout. It starts. Yeah. Okay. Hellblazer, Scalp, We Three, Poison Ivy, and Brother Lono. Good choice. Um, Edwin agrees with you, my friend. Is scalped on anyone's must picks? I think Jess just gives it a seal of approval, and mm -hmm. he said he's going to sell his OHCs no, to get the omnibus. <laughs> I am not. You liar. I'm getting that Dan Mora cover for Nightwing Year One. Is that Deathstroke for me? Man, what a hard it is a hard pick, and that is some good Deathstroke. Um, scalp sold my OHC dogs up in it. Oh. <laughs> 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 Jess invented no he did not he's still so much of my you know what no it's easter i'm gonna let it slide <laughs> <laughs> i tell my family i would be a better person Wooza. Wooza. it's it's the birth of the savior so let him lie it's okay i'm passing on dc versus marvel i'd rather get amalgam of course warren get what you want man uh i think my choice right now is stormwatch compendium i always wanted to get into those stories they're, Solid. they're really good they are good yeah, if you've never read them flash wade superman oh matt oh, you're done boy. dude you're, you gotta get alone oh, yeah. man. <laughs> you're yeah. done yeah. that's yeah. worse than what i said take out a second mortgage <laughs> i'm pretty sure geo came up with we're living in the golden <laughs> justice for you <laughs> I, I said i was trying to be a better person you all suck um <laughs> <laughs> taking a page out of Jess's book and choosing another one. Batman murder turned fugitive. Yeah, yeah. Good choice. Uh, good. Battle for the cow. DC Marvel's the get almost for everyone. That is true, Superman. Kryptonite. Yes, me too. Oh, yeah. That's a good thank one. you for the super sticker. Which Nightwing year one cover are you getting? I'm going with Morris. Well, they're not reprinting the one that matches the other ones. If I had a choice, I guess it would be more. I really like Morris' artwork. Yeah. I'm getting Nightwing Year One box set because I mm. also don't want Robin. What about you guys? If you had a choice, if you didn't own already, or maybe you don't, I don't know. But if you were to buy Nightwing Year One, which cover would you get? Would you get the uh, here? Let me show you. I don't think they have both covers here because we are looking at the um, L Device catalog, not the direct market catalog. But this right. is the uh, Scott McDaniel cover. But there's also a Dan Mora direct market cover. Okay. Mm. Would you guys lean more towards something that's like the art in the book, or would you lean something to like you really like Dan Mora? I really like Dan Mora, so that's uh that's, okay. that's it. It's Dan Mora. I may what about you, Lars? I'm a indicative of what's in the book, weirdo. Yeah. You're not weird. Okay. I, so I, I, I would go with McDaniel. Uh I have all these year ones and I like how simple the covers are, but I like Dan Mora, so I'll go with Dan Mora. All right, which Nightwing you cover? There you go, buddy. I think all of us were Mora except for Lars, who is a hussy. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's brazen hussy to you. Brazen yeah. hussy. Yeah. Get it right. Omar, DC has called a lot of standard size books deluxe. Have they? No, wait. Okay, Larry, dude, I got excited over that book, damn it. Hold on a second. <laughs> I forget how stupid the search is on this stupid thing. Um, Hold on a second. 10 by 10.9 7.1 inches yeah that's a that's a deluxe trim larry oh god larry are you sure do you want me to go get a tape measure out and measure a deluxe book uh no 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 that is the trim size of a deluxe book but he's now he's got me second guess why would you say that larry <laughs> <laughs> Look, okay, so here's the trim size of a standard size trade paperback 10.2 yeah. by 6.6. .6. This is 10.9 by 7.1. So it's bigger than a trade. Larry, I think it's a deluxe, buddy. I think we're going to be good. We're going to be safe. We're fine. I think Don't so. Don't do that good. again, Larry. You can freaking <laughs> freak me out like that. <laughs> <laughs> just joining after a crazy work shift. Can you guys just start from the beginning, Matt? Absolutely. <laughs> Sure. Uh, I love you, you know, this isn't it's being recorded. Mess. It's all. Yeah, yes. I'm going to be so. saying that so often with Jess on my stream. Serenity <laughs> now. <laughs> it's Saturday later. Serenity now. <laughs> I hope we get Teen Titans DC's finest. I feel like I was in the middle of a, uh, a answer. I'm going to start an only page, <laughs> only fans page and learn a pole dance of four mm. books. Good. Um, good, good choice. We need a Gail Simone Birds of Prey omnibus. That we yeah. need. Yes. I would love the entire great. Birds of Prey Omnis. Yeah. Those are collected so weirdly. 
How far back was the Batman murder fugitive? I can find it for yeah. you. I think it was page three. Yeah. Yeah, it's on page three, and I'll put the link in the description. Um, but here it is. I think the only thing that is not in the content that was in the two trade paperbacks, as Chris stated, is the Asriel issues. But by the page count, they're probably in here. Oh, hold on. Omar. Woo! But they put the Lux wording on many stand, so you can't trust. Damn it, Larry. I said we're fine. <laughs> Larry's freaking me out, Jess. Go and do your stupid freaking uh, Frank quietly, Frank quietly like, girls, quietly Frank quietly. or whatever the hell I called it. Uh, <laughs> I stream with him. Uh, yes, Teen Titans Volume Six is one of those volumes yeah. that has been taken out of the catalog and hasn't come back yet. Huh. So, Wait, they? Oh, they've already yeah. withdrawn it. It, it never was resolicited. It was never solicited to begin with. It was just in the catalog. Teen oh, Titans Six. Yeah. Okay. And that was four years ago. And websites like Amazon still has it with that placeholder date of what, 2095 or something like that? Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. But I'm pretty sure that one will come back. I mean, they did like a reprint of volume one. Whew, we did it. <clears throat> All right, gentlemen. I got to go edit and then I got to pack. I just want to thank everybody for joining me. Thank you all for watching. Chris, kick it off, buddy. Where can people find you when you're not chilling here with us? You can find me on all the socials at Chris Belga. You can uh, check out the Geek Ultimate Alliance Network on all podcatchers of choice. Just look for Geek Ultimate Alliance. And I got two shows on there, World's Finest True Believers and Marvel Alliance. As always, Omar, thank you for uh, having have me uh, join these fine feathered finks. You, oh, dude, you are <laughs> always a welcome addition to these chats. Uh, Lars... Yes, uh, uh, thank you. Address, social security number. Go the golden. Are you, are you, gonna, are you gonna dox me? Uh, yes, Lars <laughs> Pearson. Uh, I know what that means. I get that reference. Go ahead, Lars. Lars Pearson, Mad Norwegian Press. Um, and I normally write a lot about Doctor Who, um, which is going to be back on Disney Plus on May. Is it tenth or eleventh? Mm -hmm. um, oh, thank you, thank you, James. Um, yes, I ran off a lot about with Lance Park and I co-write uh, a history, which is the definitive Doctor Who timeline. Now over a million words. And stroke inducing. There you oh. go. And last but certainly not least, oh, thank you, Kane. Omni Dog, where can people find you, buddy? Uh, you can find me on Omni Dog's Vault on YouTube, mm -hmm. Omni Dog's underscore Vault on Instagram, and on my Discord. We have a lot of wholesome fun there. And I am putting out a lot of overviews this week and reviews. I believe I am back in the game. I, I I feel better, so I'm better I'm ready to go. Wood. You better yeah. knock on wood, Thank buddy. Yeah. If you're I am the uncanny Omar. I say I won't have a live stream until next Saturday, but there are videos dropping every day, sometimes two, because I'm a madman. This week, while I am out with the family and people are here finishing my basement, and have people that are staying and watching our pets. So, thank you, everybody. Smash that like button on the way out. Uh, and go and s visit these wonderful folks that have great channels and a great Doctor Who. What, what is it again? With uh, Doctor Who uh, chronological order uh, series. A I mean, history. You... The, the timeline Doctor Who a history. How many? How many have you done? Well, it, we're, we're on four, we, fourth edition is out and it's three volumes long. Woo! There you go. That's it, everybody. Stay healthy and safe. I'm out of here. Go buy some comic books and read some. Read some Peace comics. Peace.